What is up, y'all? This is Best of 2023 Watch, the first inaugural, I don't know if that's the right word for it now that I'm actually thinking about it, but the inaugural first episode of this year's 2023 Watch. Um, I've been doing this for about two years now, and uh, this is where we play the latest games and the greatest games. Every Friday here on twitch.tv slash gameonesis, we are out here checking out the latest releases. January is always an interesting time because there often aren't that many big name games released. Obviously, there are games releasing all the time in the background of everything going on. So I'd say like probably one of the bigger releases that came out was One Piece Odyssey, but I'm frankly just not interested in that game. And I also, of course, filter this a little bit through my own tastes and things that I want to try out, things that I feel like could have that potential to be in those conversations at the end of the year. And then you see how it shakes out. So today we're starting with Potion Craft and Melatonin. These are technically 2022 games, but they came out so late in the year that I consider them for this year in terms of awards, accolades, stuff like that. Um, and again, we're playing Potion Craft on Steam, but it is available on Game Pass. Pay big money for a positive <laughs> Game Honest review for Smokepoke. And man, unfortunately, my positive reviews are not for sale. Um, as, as much as the internet would be mad to hear that, it is a true fact. Um, but I'm, I'm ready to check out uh, Forspoken, though. So I, I will definitely be playing that when it comes out. Let me check my calendar. I have a big calendar in here. Motel looks awesome on the demo. Yeah, I actually got a code for that a few weeks ago, and I've just been, like, holding on to it for this stream. So I'm excited to try it out. Um, I know Blessing played it, and I think he enjoyed his time. Um, but Forspoken will probably share that Friday slot with the Dead Space remake. And then TBD on if I can get that Fire Emblem engage uh, on for the 20th. That Friday, I've kind of mapped out the next couple of months. But definitely, you know, hit me up here. Hit me up on um, social media if you guys have games that you're like, hey, I would really love your thoughts on this. Are you going to play it? Are you looking forward to it? That kind of stuff. Um, I try to keep up with basically everything, but I'm sure some things slip through the radar. Let's check a quick... Actually, uh, let's just check out... Are there subtitles here? I think the music is fine. I think it'll be fine. This is actually a game that I started, that I first like tried out at PAX West earlier this year, or earlier last year rather, and I really liked it. They had like the coziest, cutest setup for their booth. I thought it really invoked like the game and it's very like simplistic and controls. You only need a mouse. You actually don't even need the keyboard at all. And they had given us all um, like just one of those little like, you know how you can like, game on your sofa and they give you that little tray just one of those trays on like a beanbag chair and it was just such a great vibe um i can't watch my feelings will get hurt oh man you know sometimes the truth is um it's hard to bear right but again i'm excited for forspoken but i'm not that optimistic come on baby level two hype chugga chugga choo choo I appreciate the energy. How's it going? It's going good as uh, Akiza. I always botched that for a second. Um, it is going good, but all right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get started here. Definitely don't want to skip the tutorial. Nom nom nom. Thank you for the bits, uh, Eddie. I appreciate it. Okay, so this says the story begins. <laughs> Thank you for getting us that level two. Oh, man. It's just been quite a day for Isaiah playing Do it. things at full blast audio when he thinks they're paired to his headphones. I don't know if you could have heard that, but um, don't strike me down for what I assume was house playing aloud. I don't really know. All right, y'all, we've, we've delayed enough. Let's jump into that tutorial. Uh, the story begins. You're a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny after a long journey. Yeah, the Isaiah emotes for sure. I got to get that uh, emote wall back up too. You finally found a place to ply your trade. Okay, we don't want to skip this tutorial. Abandoned house. It's also giving me, if y'all have been following the stream quite a bit, you might remember me playing Strange Horticulture many months ago. It's giving me that vibe for sure. And I love that game. So excited to see how this shakes out. You found an old abandoned house on the edge of town. Judging by the alchemy equipment and garden, the former owner seems to have practiced alchemy. Apparently, a wizard used to live here, but that, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggests that it has been empty for a long time. Yeah, I love Strange Horticulture. It was so fun. You decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, the shop is ready for its first customers. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start this life, this new life, in a new town. All right. Adding ingredients to the cauldron. Potions are made from ingredients. Take two... 
terrarias. Yes. And two water blooms from your inventory and throw them into the cauldron. To move ingredients, click and hold the mouse. Also, let me know if the volume, the game audio is too loud or too quiet. I think it's good right now, but let me know if that changes. Um, pay attention to the alchemy map on the laboratory wall. It shows you the path of the ingredients. Okay, so okay, so two. Okay, it labels them. Uh, one of the most famous ingredients got the name for the magical properties revealed. Okay, so we got one. We got two. They make it easy. It's just the ones that you have here. Okay, now we got a swirl, right? After adding the ingredients, you can stir the potion. Stirring the potion advances the potion icon down the path defined by the ingredients. Use the spoon to stir. Click and hold the mouse and move the spoon. Okay. Stirring allows the potion icon to collect experience. It seems simple enough. Okay, that's pretty, like, automatic. Not too bad. Um, is it CBA tones? Yeah, for sure. That just definitely adds to it. Now the potion icon is touching an unknown. Um, yeah, yeah, you gotta actually do the stirring. Um, now the potion icon is touching an unknown effect. To find out what the effect... Okay, that's here. What the effect does, you need to add it to the potion. To add the effect to the potion, you need to bring the water cauldron to a boil. Use the bellows to blow on the coals and heat the cauldron. So you're like clicking and holding and like heating it up. Finishing a potion. Perfect. You've added a new effect to the potion, healing. To finish making this potion, press finish potion. Um, so again, since I have played this, um, at least the demo part at PAX before, I do remember a little bit of this and it's kind of cool because there's a little element of like almost experimentation with crafting. Um, and it kind of can lead you to unveil different things. How was your B-Day? It was good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, it was my birthday um, three days ago. I turned 29, um, which is cool. Last year, the 20s. Um, excited to be here. Happy with how things are. And excited to enter like the first era of full adulthood for me because I was in college at the end of my 20s. So while, you know, plenty of responsibilities to be had, not the same as like, Oh, the utility's gotten my name during my 20s kind of kind of vibe, right? But yeah, it was really fun. Um, earlier, before my birthday, we like got brunch. And then on my birthday, I was at work in the studio. They gave me that little cake. It was cute. Um, yeah, it was a fun time. Like going to the studio was like a really enjoyable experience. We're just getting to do like having that in-person feel, especially with like how grandiose the um, production value was given the nature of how special those two, like two of the three shows I were was on was. Obviously KFGD was like kind of any other day on KFGD. But for me, that was still really cool because I had been on KFGD so many times, especially when Greg was on paternity leave. That to like be there for that show was also like weirdly nostalgic in a way. Um, so I had a really good time. Thank you for asking. Um, how's everyone's uh, 2023 going too? Uh, any resolutions, things you're sticking to, things you're not. Um, I hopefully you guys are able to somewhat ease into the year. Uh, a mortar and pestle are an alchemist's best friends. You can only use, oh no, you can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically. Thank you for the hype train, y'all. Any ingredients and unlock their potential. This helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Okay. Okay, okay, okay I got it. Try to create the same potion using just one of the uh, Terraria things and one water bloom. Do I even have any more of the? And then it's like you hold this and then you like smash it. It's so cute. And then you can add like the little chunk and then you do the same thing here. And this is, look at that sound. Hello sound design. So cute. And then you stir the potion. And then again, to actually get the effect, you heat up the bellows. Is that the din of the dank kush? <laughs> um, no, this is just like a plant. But I mean, I guess that's also just a plant. So in a way, if that helps you, you know. Um, excellent. You made the very same potion, but use half as many ingredients. Your first potion attempt won't always be the most optimal. So experiment and perfect it. And this is really where like a more dynamic element of gameplay comes into place. If you're happy with the potion you made, save it in the recipe book. Then you can make that potion in the future with a the click of a button. Save the recipe of your current potion. Press save to save it. Okay. And then you just finish it. 
Moving between rooms, you are the owner of a potion shop, and your task is not only to brew potions, but also sell them to customers. A customer has arrived. Go to the shop. For oh, you do use the keys a little bit. Okay, so for moving between rooms, use the navigational buttons uh, at the edge of the at the edges of the rooms. Um, oh, okay. So I guess you can also still just click. Wait, can you just click to go to the shop? Click the navigation button on the left. Press the A or let. Okay. Oh, okay. No, so you can just click. I'm gonna stick to like all just clicks then. Offering potions for sale. Everyday people from all over town. Okay, this is also very fun. I know I'm like hyping this up a lot, but I think this game is very cool. From the little bit I played, I'll be further than I played in the demo in like five minutes or something because I just barely got a hands on it. Goal is to make games media content by 2024. Oh yeah, that's that is that is very doable. Um, everyday people from all over town and even from other towns will buy various potions. Your job is to brew potions in the laboratory and sell them to customers. Many potions must be brewed for a specific purpose, but it's still a good idea to keep a few um, like on hand just in case. If a customer likes a potion, it will be clear from their reaction. Okay. Offer a potion for sale. Take it from your inventory and place it on the right side of the scale. So right here. Uh, click sell to sell the potion. My husband has been ill for... Okay, the amount of gold you receive from selling a potion is shown by the sell. Okay. They want us to complete the tutorial before we start haggling. Okay, he has a fever. Use the same kind of potion. Offer the potion for sale. Let's try to haggle. Okay, so for haggling, let's see. It's like a little... Little timed moment here. Um... Is it just like I click again? I'm kind of scared. Okay, topic, food, very easy. What did you have for breakfast or lunch today? A common topic to start a conversation. The Panama art style is really having a moment. I, it's like, it's the era, you know? This is a time to go back. Alcohol, easy, wine, beer, reading medium. Not Even though not everyone can read, books are a great way to keep up a conversation. This is interesting. They got like a little like kind of things to choose from. Raccoon, thank you for the follow. Um, I mean, am I just supposed to hit the other side? I don't know. Lack of suitable potions. You will often not have a ready-made potion for certain customers. That's okay. You can uh, always go back to the lab. To make the potion they need, there is no time limit, so you can focus on the recipe. The client will not leave. Love that. Go to the garden to get the herbs. Okay. The enchanted garden is one of the alchemist's main sources for ingredients. Every day, new herbs and mushrooms will grow in the garden. Don't forget to pick them up from time to time. Click on the ingredients. Go to the lab to create new potions. Making a potion. Excuse me. The customer needs... Poison. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's kind of a red flag, but all right. The customer needs poison, which means you need to create a potion with the poison effect. You will have to look for most of the effects on your own throughout the map. But you remember from your alchemy lesson that such a potion can be made from one firebell and one terraria. Terraria? Something like that. Okay. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Wait. Let me, I should grind this up because then I can maybe make more potions out of it. So cute. Okay, then we gotta stir and then heat it, I guess. Oops. Oh. Excuse me. What? Oh. Is it not like stirred enough? Did it not work? Let me try again. I think I messed it up, but can I, let me just, let's just put it straight in there and see what happens. Like, let's not crush it. Excuse me, what? Oh my God, we're bad at this, hold on. Hold on. What? What? What do you think of the music? Oh, the music's fine. Like, it's pretty, like, background. Um, 
it could be a little more dynamic, but I don't really notice it, but it also like isn't grating. So I, I'm, I'm satisfied with the music. Maybe I just didn't grind these enough. It's kind of generic. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we finally did it. Okay, I think I just didn't do this stuff enough. And it was kind of showing me on the map, but I like wasn't sure. So let's save the recipe. Let's finish it. Set the tone. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay, so now we can go back to the shop. I do wish I had like, I know they're kind of bad for you ergonomically, but like a little like mouse, like, a little wrist rest, even though I know they're not really good for you, but. Okay, offer the potion to the customer. Great. I'm still a little confused on how I haggle. And it hurts my stars, right? Let's just sell it. Okay, once a customer leaves the shop, you can have a rest in your bedroom. It's located above the lab. Go to the bedroom at the end of every day. Okay. To end the day, click on the bed and confirm that you want to end the day. Classic. Yeah, sure, sure. So cute. Little night sky. Okay, that's the tutorial. You have refreshed your alchemy knowledge and familiarized yourself with the alchemy equipment. In the attic next to the bed, you find... You've bleh, you found a few ingredients and a ladle for water. Uh, this is your potion shop now. You decide what to do next. Greet customers, chat, sell potions, hat gold. Don't forget to gather ingredients from the enchanted garden and gradually explore the map. Good luck. Okay. Um, I've gotten so bad at reading text and streams. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Oh, it's like always a challenge. Like. I mean, there's a reason reading out loud is people's most horrific classroom memory and why like kids are generally like so stressed about reading out loud. Uh, Stretch, thanks for the happy 2023 and the belated birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Um, happy 2023 to you as well. Neens, thank you for the uh, the yeah. birthday sub, the big sub. How was the camp studio? Uh, how was camp in studio? It was awesome. Uh, the energy was so Hi, I think part because we're normally not there in person and part because, of course, it's like huge episodes for us, the game of the year stuff and the fantasy critic stuff. So, um, yeah, I felt pretty like ready to go for fantasy critic. But at the same time, I feel the stress of like the defending of being the defending champion, right? Heavy lies the crown. We'll see if I can go two for two. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, I didn't win in the, the league that Joe made last year. I did really badly there. I'm going to try to be better at handling multiple leagues at once because I do have a lot of fun playing, but it is a lot to keep track of. Um, the champ, the people's champ, that's what they're calling me. I have an embarrassing memory trying to read my short story out loud in my creative writing class and falling into a fit of nervous giggles that I couldn't stop. Yeah, that's when you have to just, like, if you can, like, you just walk out of that room and get it together. <laughs> it's so brutal. Okay, so I guess we should see, like... Well, people usually want, like, a health potion, I think. Like, the water bloom. So let's do the water bloom. And let's do the, um... This thing. And I think that'll be good. Uh, hi, Jen. Hope you're doing well. What's up, Brian? I'm doing good. How are you? Put that in there. What's up with this water, too? We got a lot going on now. Oh, is this gonna even go on fire? Oh, I have to stir it, I have to stir it. Oh fuck, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Okay, no, no, it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's great. We're doing good. Um, that's the potion. So many good games coming. Yeah, I think it's funny because this 2022 was so good for games in that there were so many, like God of War, Ragnarok, and Elden Ring are both such critically acclaimed, iconic games of the era type level. Um, I know, right? Luckily, they let me, like, not stir it. Um, and while this year doesn't have, like, quite that many games of the scale, like, Breath of the Wild, of course, or not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, but Spider-Man 2, it's like, okay, like, oh, that's gonna be wavy, like, it's gonna be a high A, maybe a low 9, but I'm not really expecting a masterpiece from that game, necessarily. Um, at the same time, though, like, I feel like there were no weak picks, and I think that speaks to, like, maybe a, a healthier medium in this year than, than, than 2022, but... Ooh, uh, I got this, um, I should have added ice to it to dilute a little bit. I got this cold brew coffee. Like, it's like a 
coffee concentrate. You like do half and half, like coffee concentrate and half water, and it's so strong. But I kind of wish I like diluted it a little bit with like two ice cubes. Yeah, Dead so the thing with Dead Island 2, like I thought it was gonna be like it looks cool, and I felt like everyone was so excited for Dead Island 2. Yeah. But then uh I was like, hey, thank you so much for the sub. Happy 2023. Love the little animation thing. Totally in 2022, looking forward to keeping up and seeing what's going on. There's gonna be some super fun stuff that I already have lined up, and I'm so excited. Um, but what else? What else? I was saying that. Oh yeah, I looked at Dead Island One's reviews, and they weren't John Blaze like that. And I know that was like a million years ago, but let's just do another of the health potions. Oh man, Booze Bag JD, thank you so much for all the gifteds. Holy cow! Giving a gifted over to T Roy Jenkins biscuits with Davy. Um, Sean Go Congo. Also, great name. Uh, C. B. Weezy and Mon Frere. Appreciate the hell out of that. Thank you so much. And. Yeah, I don't have confidence in Atomic Heart because I don't know enough about what it is. Oh, shoot. What is this one? Terraria? Is this right? Let's just find out. Like, it looked super cool, but I don't know if it's going to hit. Maybe I'll pick it up later. I don't know though. I'm not feeling like that that confident to pick it. Like I had other ones I was more confident in. Um, yeah, someone in our league did pick Dead Island too, I think. Contraire Monfrere. Um No, Atomic Heart. You're thinking of Wild Heart Stretch. We're gonna have that problem the whole year. Valeria, thank you for the follow. Um Wild Heart is like EA's take on Monster Hunter. Atomic Heart is like Fallout meets Bioshock vibes meets shooter gun stuff. It looks actually really cool. I feel like I sound kind of derisive of it or dismissive of it. Um, I like the look of that game a lot, but I just don't know if it's going to like hit like that. Um, and I don't know a lot about like what the team has done. You know what I mean? So it's like, mm, like I just wasn't really like, I didn't want to take a flyer on it. Good afternoon. Yesterday at a friend's party, I burned my tongue on some hot soup. Now I can't taste anything and I'm a brewer. I need to be able to check the quality of my product. Okay, we need something that heals. Okay, let's try to figure out what, what could heal. Okay, what do we have going on here? Do I have any recipes? Alchemist Pass, recipe book. So I have poisoning, I have poison and I have Oh, I feel like it's going to be the healing potion, right? Let's see. Can I just like... Is that fine? Should I like haggle? Also, I'm confused on how I do this. I guess I like... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, holy cow. This is a lot of information. It's okay. We're going to read it. We're going to understand it. While you're haggling, you can talk to a visitor on various topics. Each visitor has their own set of topics from completely unimportant to very sensitive. The closer the topic is to the visitor's heart, the harder it is to talk about. The arrow will move faster, but you can get more pro profit. Okay, we got this, we got this. If you refuse to haggle, the visitor will be upset and end the haggling. Okay, so sometimes you get stuck haggling, I guess. I don't know. The goal of the mini game is to tip the scale to the left to the left. Okay, thus achieving a better deal. Press the haggle button when the arrow is on the gold. Bonuses to tip the scale in your favor, but don't hesitate because after the first click, the scales will gradually tip in the visitor's favor. Okay. Hitting gold bonuses tips the scales in your favor and missing does the opposite. The longer you haggle... Okay. Oh, now I understand. Okay. The longer you haggle, the narrower the bonuses become, and at some point they disappear completely, so don't delay too much. You will run out of topics and the visitor will find you too intrusive, and then you hit the green arrow on any of the... Sorry, hitting the arrow on any of the green bonuses on left or right will lock in the profit and complete the deal. Haggling will also end automatically when the max... Okay. Because before I thought you just like green to green, I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, let's try it, because like it's not real life. Let's have some fun with it. I feel like... Yeah, he does like alcohol, so I think that would be... I mean, like, well... No, 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 I was gonna say, like, well, it's his job, like, how much does he like it? Like, he probably, he probably fucking likes it. It's like when people are like, do you like games? Like, no shit, I fucking like games. Built my whole life around this. Um, it looks a little tough, though, is the thing. But, you know, like, why, why not? You know, we'll just... Okay, 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 okay. 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 
Oh! Oh my god, my eyes! How long does this go on for? Jeez. Woo! I think I'm gonna stop at the green now. Okay. Is that good for me or bad for me? Why? Why was I bad? You were slow. You missed. How was I slow? This is bullshit. Damn. All right. Well, we fucked up. So I I thought it was going really well. I thought it was going really well. I guess not. Okay. We'll try the next person. Okay. Greetings. <laughs> I got so upset by that. Also, yay, um, thanks to, well, really everybody, because it takes a village. Um, but with that last gifted from Booze Bags, we unlocked our trophy hunt. So we'll do a trophy hunt at the end of the stream. The stream normally ends at 7 PT, but now we'll go a little bit longer and do some trophy hunting. Uh, I'll have to see what trophy I want to go for. Maybe another Astro one. The Astro ones were pretty fun. I'll probably put it maybe to a vote, and you guys end up picking the game I do a trophy hunt in, and then we'll see. Okay. Greetings. I recently went fishing at a lake in the forest. I cast out my line and immediately got a bite. I reeled it in and tried to get off the hook. My hand is swollen. Is the answer just always a potion of healing? Let's try the haggle again because I feel like I want to like, let's like learn this. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I understand. Now I understand. Oh, it's like you got to go real quick. Oh, now I understand. Now I got it. Now I now I got it. Don't worry, y'all. Boom. We got a better deal. Hi, are you the new alchemist? I'm the local herbalist. I gather and s plant and sell them. Want to see what I have for sale? I think there might be something interesting for you. How much money do I have? I have... Do I have 500 coins? Is that a lot of money? You got to go fast. Yeah, just like Sonic was telling us. Wind bloom. That's a lot. You know what? Oh no, I have a lot of wind bloom. Is there anything I don't have? Can I buy like recipes from you? Miscellaneous ingredients, potions. I don't, I think I'm okay right now. I only sell what I know about flowers. Okay. Nah, nah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Rick and Bobby. I don't think I've actually watched that movie. You're not first or last. What? That's not true at all. You can be second, third, fourth. You tell me I built my whole life on it. That's like the only thing I know from that movie. Okay. Let's try to like make some mystery things. This looks like something. But like, what can it go with? Looks like I can go with this to reach like a recipe, so. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. There's also water, so it's like, there's a whole thing here. What does this even do? Did this even do anything? Did I just, oh my God, this didn't do, this didn't make anything. And then the water like puts it out, right? Fuck, okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Damn. Can I just like... Oh, I like the path. Yeah, it's like all about like finding these little pathways. Hmm, okay, that, that didn't work, so... We're gonna need to figure something else out. Because I was wasting this thing that I had. Okay, this looks like it can reach... Hold on. What do we got going on here? Buy something from the merchant, learn a new talent. The Alchemist Path. Okay, fun. Oh, there's like set number of chapters, so maybe you can beat this kind of game. Hell, even fifth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe just this thing, Windbloom. Like, how do I get it to like become something? Is my thing. Ooh. Like, where can I go now? Should I win bloom and fireball? Oops.
Because if I light it, it's not like nothing's gonna happen to it, right? Right now? Or will something happen? Ooh, that's scary. I don't know what this means. Okay. Did I make a potion though? I didn't like make anything yet, right? So like, how do I... Maybe just a little bit more wind bloom? I feel like I'm wasting a lot of crap here. I don't know. Like, where's my next potion? No, okay. Oh, there's a thing. Yeah, I can make my way over here. I think this can help me get an effect, okay. Maybe I, like, s did too much? Oh, yeah, 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 I unlocked the new effect, Swiftness. It seems like that's, like, an unoptimal way to get that potion, but, like, we got a new effect. What's up, Ecrates88? Here as promised. Yeah, man, it's been a weird week for me, so, like... Like, work vacation vibes? Because, like, again, I've been working a bunch, like, with kind of funny content and all that, but... Um, at the same time, like, it was so out of my ordinary that, like, I barely, like, sat at my desk yesterday to do, like, my own stuff. Um, me too. I think the crafting method is very cool. Let's do more of, like, the healing potions, though, because people always need that. So it's like, all right. Let me try to remember, what is the... Is this my recipe book? Okay, so healing is... Um... Do we need water? Is it like you pour the water in first or something? I don't know. Hmm. Like, just using water, like... I'm kind of confused on what the water does. Come on. Come on. What? Oh, it's because I didn't stir it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Well, so, uh, this looks cute as hell. It's really cool. Ten subs already? Yeah, you know what it is. 2023. That's what we're- that's what we're on today. I need to poison my rats. Say no more, man. I fucking got you. I got you. I do like to, like, to a degree, I like some time things. I think this game lends itself well to not being timed. Oh, the water moves you back to the center. Okay, thank you. That makes- that makes sense, because I'm like, doesn't it, like, water everything down, you know? Uh, the poison. So poison is gonna be... Um... The terraria and the firebell, okay. There you go, smoosh. And then the firebell. I'm gonna heat it up. Heat it up. Heat it up. Heat it up. Uh, I'm sorry if you have rats, you need to clean your house. <laughs> Look, this is like different times. Alright, let's try haggling with this guy. Topic of monsters. Let's give it a go. Oh, we got it. We got it. Yeah, we got it. We got him. Oh, why is he mad? <gasps> oh, shoot. I forgot to hit sell. Oh, my God. I, f I messed up. I was like, why is he mad? Okay. Damn. It's okay. It's okay. My head really hurts. Do you have some kind of sleeping thing? I don't have a sleeping thing for you yet. Rats are great. The rats. The rats. They're furry and forlorn. Does it tell me anything? It seems to have something to do with water. Water bloom. Goblin shroom. Contrary beliefs, goblins do not cook these. Okay. Remedy with wounds and cuts. Some healers even burn, like, claiming that the smoke can treat respiratory illness. Fan to cool off. Goblin 
<laughs> right. So I have to touch. I don't know what's going to do. I kind of feel like this is going to be useful, but at the same time, it's like for what? You know, like, I don't know. Is there anything else in the garden? There's not. Ooh, coming to Switch soon. I'm hel uh, Hell yeah, I'm stoked. Nice. Yeah, right now I think it's just PC and Xbox. Um, it came out, like, it was an early access game for a while, and then it came out officially, like, December 13th. Um, you know, I haven't seen you since last year. <laughs> There's always that guy. There's always one. There's always at least one. Um, what can make you sleepy? I feel like this... This seems sleepy to me. Right? I'm hilarious. How dare you? Okay, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try this, because we can get us to, like, a different spot in the map. Or is it like I have to, like... What the heck? Damn, it didn't work. Maybe this thing can get us to the spot on the map that I want to get to? But yeah, the water can bring you back to center. Okay. Potion failed! Oh my gosh. I don't know what's gonna make you sleepy, lady. Maybe this one? We're just gonna put a lot of wind bloom in this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Sure. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I lurk in your stream sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm always lurking in Eddie's streams as well. It's just a good place to be. That's just swiftness again. Damn. I feel like we're wasting so much stuff. Oh, and is it like, is the, does the potion fail if I go through the, like this web? Yeah, damn. Go to the basement? Oh. What the heck's in this basement? Find the merchant who can sell you parts for new alchemy machine. Oh, geez. Okay. Learn a new talent. Okay. Yo, I don't know what to... First change the potion? Oh my gosh, what is this? That's kind of intimidating. Hmm. Hmm. Demonic cry. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm just like not sure what's gonna put someone to sleep here. Let's try going like this direction. Like we're wasting so many materials, but I don't know. Oh yeah, so I do have some comments on that. I haven't done it myself, but Isaiah has. He said it works better than you think it would, but he still, like, favors mouse and keyboard. Um, like, I think he was like, oh, it's all right, you know? Because I was like, should I play with a controller? Like, I'm big on using a controller for, like, everything, but... Okay, <gasps> we're almost there. You know what? F it. I don't think it's going to put you to sleep, though. Okay. What is this? Fire? Okay, well... There's no way that's gonna be... What they wanted. Hmm. Maybe just a lot of this one? I don't know how to make what you want, sir. Like, this does seem like it'd go through, like... Oh, maybe you don't, like... Just so that it'll zoop you there. Like, you land right there. <gasps> does it not work like that? Can I, like... Oh, aha! Now I'm understanding. Okay, now I'm understanding. Maybe I try going far left or far right. Um, I ended up doing neither, but I did finally get somewhere, at least. It looks like that er those areas, like, it's death. I guess there's more on this one. Let's see. 
We're using so many materials. Oh, aha! Here's something, though. There's something. We found something. Strength. I mean, that's cool, but that's not what we need. Just make another one of these potions. You can sleep forever. Okay. This is kind of cool, though. I'm liking this. Can I start, like, at the strength one? Do I always have to start in this middle area? Like, oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe just more of this side. I do feel like there's something there to, like... Going to, like, this upper right. Try dumping the potion of strength into the cauldron. Oh, I see what you mean. I'll do that next, because I already started, like, making this. Like, you can start there and then, like, mix it up. Oh, this looks like it's something. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, we'll try that next. Something's gonna have to put you out of sleep, because... Oh. This is kind of close to, like, the death zone, though. So I'm kind of kind of concerned about that, not gonna lie. Wait, you can throw into... Yeah, you can throw in a whole ingredient for a smaller adjustment. Or you could, like... Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, my potion failed. Okay, let's try this strength thing that you were mentioning. Oops, I don't think you can. Okay, well, at least it didn't, like, ruin it. I got too close to the sides. Yeah, that would have been neat. Unless, unless I'm doing it wrong, which I don't think I am, but... Okay, I still think that upper corner was... had the right thing in mind. I think I just- I went too far is the thing. Ooh, I don't think we're really fully gone this way, though, is the thing. Or have we? I don't think we have. So I think I like didn't understand like how the mechanics worked yet. So now we're gonna go here and then we're gonna light it up. This will transport us. Oh, I think I've been here before, damn. Okay, well. Screw it. We're going down with the ship here. Okay. That's gonna be swiftness. I mean, we're using so much of this potion. There's no way. At least we got some more stuff. Okay, there's another area, though, to our left. There's- oh yeah, there's- okay, fire bell. Can you get us to the left? And then you can, like, smoosh it up, like, not as much. Oh, there is, like, um, an effect over here. I just don't know what the effect's gonna be. I mean, maybe like this, and so then I can try to, like, get over- Oh, can we, like- Oh, no, it's gonna bring us back to the center. Can I go up? This is, like, not needed. This is, like, too much, but... Oh, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think it's, I think I'm touching it enough to- Oh, a potion of charm for Valentine's Day. Um, okay, I mean, that's cool, but none of these are what I need. <laughs> okay. How am I ever gonna find, like, this potion? Can I just go back to her and be like, I don't have what I- what you need? What can put you to sleep? Maybe, like, near po- po- the near poison? Cause I feel like... If something that knocks you out, it's, like, less strong poison. Maybe it's a dangerous line of thinking, I don't know, but... Let's give it a go. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, from here, can I go- Oh, I have to jump it in there. Can I go, like, more? Like, what if we went here, but then we, like, kept going? You're laughing because I'm gonna kill these people by accident. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Can I go more to the left? Let's make it spicier. Okay. See, it's not- it's not poison because we didn't heat it up. Okay, we got fire. 
Can go more south. Oh, that's so annoying. It's like right by the book. We're using like everything. Can I put more than one ingredient in the mortar? I, I, I'm not sure actually if I can put more than one ingredient. I guess I haven't tried it yet. I mean, there's nothing but books here. Yeah. Isaiah, so how much have you played this game, Isaiah? Uh, is there an end also? I'm not, I'm not quite sure. There's a spirally thing here. We spent like so much stuff here. I don't know. You can overdose on anything, even water. <laughs> Look. A dead customer can complain. <laughs> oh man. Where are we gonna go? I mean, what, why? Why? Maybe this way? Oh god. I'm trying to find the sleep potion and I can't find it. Maybe I should just let her leave at this point. Is there an area you haven't gone towards? Uh. I mean, this is the map. I've gone to a lot of places, but... You've gone up, you've gone kind of down some... I guess this right isn't as explored. Yeah, I would say right and, and north right. Ugh. At least we gathered some, like, knowledge on the side. Look, she's been awake for so long, she can stay up a little bit longer, you know what I mean? Like, we're, like, using all our resources on this task. This Herculean task. Okay, water bloom. And then can we go more to the... Yeah. <laughs> the recipes are recycled, so exactly. Okay. Shoot, we like don't even have anything left to like go anywhere. Can I just like... What if I just... <laughs> oh man, I was like, can I just go to sleep? Like, cut our losses now. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I just can't do this anymore, lady. I can't. I gotta start a new day. I gotta start a new day. Sometimes you just need- when you wake up, it's just- it'll all be better, you know? See, look, we got new ingredients here, because we wasted everything trying to, like, learn. Alright. Okay, cool. I was like, oh, hopefully it saves, like, my map progress. Um... Okay. That's alright, y'all. Hopefully no one else needs to go to sleep. Do you have any- oh my god, I have so many healing potions for you. Um, let's try this haggle out. You know what? Let's go for the gusto here. Brick. Oh my god, this is hard. Please. This thing is so difficult. Oh my god, he hates me. I'm doing it, like, really badly. It's so hard! Okay, hold on. Oh my god. Just- just let me- just let me sell it to you for what it is. Uh, it is cool. I like it a lot. Uh, I don't know why, but food seems to spoil incredibly fast from my house. Do you have a potion? To help food stay stay fresh longer. I don't, but I can find you one, maybe. Um, I'm just making sure that you can put stuff in here. Okay. Um, something to make things stay fresh longer. This is a great question. Um, can I ever like just start from somewhere else on the map? I guess not. Ooh, okay. Um, do I have something in here already? What is in here already? Okay, well, screw it. There's already something in here, so. Is there just spices? I don't know. Can I go more to the left? Oh, this will take me- or more to the right, I mean. 
Oops, why did I not crush that up? Okay, there's something else here. I think the water bloom might be able to get us there. This man wants seasonings. I recommend- I recommend that. I was talking about Tone the other day, each level takes a minute to get used to, but it's wicked satisfying when you get Oh, I'm excited! Yeah, we're gonna play that in a little bit. Okay, let's see. Cool. New effect found. Ooh. So is this, like, magic then? Okay. I mean, could that help the food stay fresh? Probably not. Let's try to go this right area. Oh, jeez. Okay. Please let me go. Oh, yeah. Water bloom. Water bloom's key. I mean, this can just keep helping me go right. Let's just see, like, the map fog a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no, we messed up. Can I just, like... Oh. Oh, now I understand a little bit more. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see now. Oh, there's a thing here. We just gotta go a little north. Perfect, perfect, okay. Oh, wait, let's actually let's just put it in mostly like that. Great. Okay, I'm kind of getting the getting the hang of it a little bit more. Frost. Oh, are there magically are there sorry. Oh are there some magical components to this game? Like ice for freezing? I don't know. I'm not quite sure offhand. But a weak potion of frost. Okay. Oops. Did Okay. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. But, like, none of this is- Wait, can the frost, like- Okay, that's what I'm saying, like, is that- Is this what he wants? But I won't pay very much. I mean, is that what he wanted? Like, I don't know, that's what I gave him. Like, I think that was right. Any oh, it's set you on fire, I got you, girl, I got you. Um, why don't we try haggling? Because we need to get better at haggling. Assassination, yeah. I mean, clearly she's looking for that kind of vibe, you know? She's a killer queen. There we go. Yeah, okay, there we go. I like this guy's look. Look at this dude. Look at this dapper fellow. Um, I'm a local mushroomer. Of course you are. Do not sell this lady the potion. Yeah, people are out here looking for some shysty shit, you know? It's like, hey, I'm looking to smite my enemies, and I'm like, you come to the right place. I got you. I got you. Uh, it's nice to see new faces in this part where I'm a mushroomer. If you're an alchemist, then you know, call it. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's see what's up with these mushrooms. Honestly, I wouldn't mind having like, a couple mushrooms here and there. Oh, it's interesting, too. They show you, like, the path that the mushrooms provide. Ooh, let's try to haggle with this guy. Get a get a price drop a little bit more. Let's just do this one. Ooh, it's still kind of tough. Okay, great. Okay, got a got a little deal. Got a little deal. Saving some shmoney. Okay. Look at us. Look at us. Wait, did it not work? Did I hit end by accident? Damn. Wait, what did I do here? Oh, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, because this is the... You know, okay. I thought it didn't go through for a second, and I was scared. It's just like, I can just keep seeing his, like, wares, but I'm okay now. Okay, yeah, we're, we're killing it here. Is there anything else in the garden? No. I can't light my oven because I lost my flint. Um... I don't have anything to start a fire, but I can get you some fire stuff. Give me a second. Just give me a second. Three of these? Three fire bell? There's gotta be an easier way to get there. Oh, but then, okay, so... I know where the fire is. Because it's about, like, getting to like, just the left, right?
Yeah, I, I would like to do it better, but I don't think I can with like what I have. Also, I don't think that you can stack them. Like inside the little thing. Okay. I like this game. It's fun. Alright, let's see. Um, you know what? Let's challenge ourselves a little bit here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. I guess you have to keep in mind how many ingredients you're putting in each potion. Um, yeah, to a degree. Like, I'll run out of the ingredients. And that's why, like, eventually you can make, like, more, what's the word, efficient recipes to make the same thing. Um, that's why I was looking at, like, oh, is there, yeah, for the sale price? Yeah, I guess. I'll be honest, I'm not really thinking too much about that. As you know from my Yakuza streams, I'm not much of, a, like, a business person. Um, you know. I'm more of an artiste than a uh, business person, which is why the shop is probably going to go under, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, I do it for the love of the craft, the potion crafts, you know? Um, but no, potion crafts is fucking hitting. So fucking check this game out. This is this year's... I So one of my tropes that I'm inadvertently doing, but I'm just going to lean into it, is blank is this year's blank. I've been doing that like for like two podcasts now, like calling my shots. I'm like, Plucky Squire is this year's Tiny Ken. Uh, even though this came out last year, uh, Potion Craft is this year's Strange Horticulture. I don't think it's going to nail the story the way Strange Horticulture did. Because it seems like it's just kind of going for something a little different. Um, but it's very, very satisfying. Okay, I need a potion that can get rid of cockroaches, bedbugs, and other insects. I mean, I think fire <laughs> is probably going to be fine. But I don't, I don't know if that's what really they're looking for. Um, we could use some like stuff this way. When a large apothecary owner in the city comes to town and buys a fitness score, he relearns to love the craft and you. Uh, you know, Edwin's been really big on those. Um, was the Hallmark, the Hallmark movies? Yeah, love potion, love potion. Okay, we have a lot of these, so I think we're gonna use these to go head south. I forgot where this teleports to me, too. Let's just start, like, and then let's try to go, like, south and then to the left. So we'll go here. This is, like, the strength thing. But then let's go to the left. I think the left watercross? No. I have to put this in there to actually move. Um, or the right is water bloom, I meant. Uh, let's try to go to the right. Well, actually, like, something to, like, get... Oh, also, probably po probably poison, right, is what he's looking for, I'm guessing. Now that I, now that I reread it. Now let's try to go through this swirly thing. Oh, it just puts me there. Whack. Okay. Okay, well, let's just... Let's just end it all here. Um, okay. Let's do... Let's just do poison. I don't know if that's what, really what he wants, but that's what I'm gonna sell him. Can you use that to get rid of bed bugs, though? This is what I'm going to give him, so I don't know. We'll just have to... We'll just have to deal with it. I already had a poison, though. Damn, okay. That's fine, now I have two. Now I have two poisons. I'm just going to sell it to him. He seemed fine with that. A certain alchemist sold me a potion that made my stomach hurt and gave me the runs. Is there anything you can give me to help me feel better? Um, I mean, probably just some, like, Sprite, I think, at this point. <laughs> Is where this is uh, petered out to, but something to make you feel better, like your stomach feel better. Mana, charm, swiftness. 
I don't know. Um, okay, let's just try to go maybe to this bottom right area. Well, where's healing at? Because I feel like it's like the cousin of healing. This game almost seems a little too much like real work. I guess it depends on what your job is, you know? Um, where do you heal at? Healing is like, oh, it's this one. So yeah, maybe this back right corner. I don't know if they want something other than healing, but let's experiment a bit. So if we were to do healing, it's, um, okay, the water, this bloom thing, and then the brown thing. Let's see something, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Smoosh, 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 dum, dum. Okay, so let's try to do that, but then, like, we'll keep going. I'm gonna, like, go slightly at an angle down. That kind of works. Okay, so let's see where this leads us, because we are going into the fog at that point. I think it's just gonna teleport us there, but... Let's give it a go. Right? This is not teleport, it's just to the... Oh, okay. It's like a little further. Even though this is like a, maybe a wasted ingredient. Come on, we gotta be- Oh my god, I see something. Also pick up some of these, which is cool. Let's do the this thing. We pick up one of those, and then we just gotta go north a little bit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Actually, this is fine. Just to toss it in like that. Come on. Oh my gosh, really? Ugh. Oh, maybe that was enough. I don't know. That was probably like one too many of the water blooms. Okay, so this is wild growth. I mean, that's cool, but... Yeah, um, I like that a lot. I like that you can also pick up stuff during that. So why not wild growth? Um, I mean, let's just give her a potion of healing and call it a day, I think, at this point, because I don't know what to give this person. And I think the potion of healing is like these two things, I think. Smoosh this up, and then it's this one, right? Yeah, okay. Very cute. Oop. Let's just like, it's a weak potion of healing, but. Wait, where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, I didn't hit finish. There we go, there we go. Okay, let's just. Honestly, I'm not really helping you that much, so I'm not even gonna haggle. Like, just with credits on game, on on God of War, X and are kind of funny as game of the year. Yeah, I think so. I mean, some people were definitely mad <laughs> um, about that. I mean, people are gonna be mad at anything and everything because it's like the internet. But um, like, a few people were like really had some far fetched ideas on our game of the year stuff, including that anyone that didn't vote for Elden Ring specifically didn't vote for Elden Ring to sabotage Elden Ring's chances, which is like such a ridiculous thought. Um, but you know, there's always gonna be some really outlandish ideas that are said very loudly. Um, generally though, I think people enjoyed our uh, game of the year stuff and like it was so fun to like watch get unveiled and stuff. Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, it's a really fantastic video game. Plus, like, favorite game of all time. That can be, like, contingent on so many things. Learn a new talent. How do I learn a new talent? Oh, do, can I, do I have these? Oh, I have, um... Ooh, I didn't know I had this. Okay, so I have, like, skill points. Oh my god, look at this. Look at how cute this is. This is adorable. I love this. Um, okay, let's look more what else we have. We have visibility radius. Because I've never played 
um, in the top 10. Inspired me to try new games. I like the rating scale. Yeah, I like that too. Um, I feel like, let's see, what's kind of funny, there were a few games that I hadn't played, like Immortality and stuff like that. For the most part, I like knew of them. Um, you can haggle on hard difficulty trading. Additional bonuses appear on the Aquamine map. I give experience when collected. I mean, like, sure. How many of these do I have left? Oh, talent points. Oh, I have seven talent points left? Oh, hold on. What? Um, well, this costs ten, so I'm not going to have enough for this, but... I haven't done trading yet. I could see this being useful, so I'll just... Oh, I need the first one, though. Can I, like, undo this one? <gasps> Oops. Okay, well, whatever. What? Let's just go all in on the map. F it. Why not? Finished Immortality yesterday. I just kind of... I kind of just clicked on things. Yeah, I mean, did you like, like, her story and those, like, other games of that ilk? Because it's definitely, like, a very specific style of game. Not that I'm, like, defending it, because I haven't played it, so I don't know. Um, but I hear really good things about it, so it's, it's definitely still on my list, even though... I tend to like leave, okay, 2022 L's, like games I didn't end up playing. I just kind of leave that behind and move on to 2023. But I do obviously like, I'm not only playing games that come out this year and the given year. Yeah, it might just not be your style then, I think. Um, though her story is like, it's so freaking good. Was Xenoblade? It was not. It's just so long that I'm like, you know, it's a whole can of worms with like a JRPG like that. Uh, Van, thank you for the follow. Hello, I see you recently opened. I'm also an alchemist, but I'm passing through town. I'm collecting some ingredients and selling some alchemy, so I dropped in. I'm running a little light. I only have enchanted paper on me. You could, but if you need to expand your recipe book, you can buy a couple of sheets. Oh, yeah, what's the enchanted paper? The enchantment slows down the paper's aging and allows you to edit existing recipes. Okay. That's kind of cool. I don't think I need that right now. Especially for, like... $108. Yeah, you know what? Maybe just one. Let's just get one. But let's try to haggle it out. Save a little bit of coin here. Let's try it. Screw it. Oh, we did it. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. D only 108 Yeah, that's worth it. That's worth it. Just like in real life, if I save some money, I feel like it's now free. You know, it's like I'm definitely still spending money on these things. But it rained recently, and my husband didn't bring in firewood. Now it's too. Now it's damp and won't burn. You have a potion that can help, like a drying potion. It won't. It's damp. I mean, do I just need the fire one? Now it's damp and won't burn. What do you guys think that she's looking for? Would it just be like a fiery potion? Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, I also appreciate the uh, the clarification that it is not to shade anybody else. Um, definitely not something people always think about. Okay. But yeah, it was really fun like talking to everybody about all their picks and everything they've played and stuff. Okay, which way to go now? Oh, always appreciate your pride for Horizon. Yeah, um, a lot of people were like, the, the dozens of Horizon fans always out of the woodwork for my pro Horizon takes. The best game that no one wants to say that they think is good. In a oh my gosh, so much, all the time. <laughs> um, it's just been a lot, specifically today. I appreciate you watching the stream, Isaiah, I do. Um, especially today, Isaiah has like, had his headphones disconnect three times, and it's always like he's listening to everything on max volume, and I don't know why everything is so loud, but uh, I haven't played Sly Cooper yet, um, but I only, I only, well, I haven't finished it. I tried a bit of the first one. I enjoyed it, but it was like really brutal, like when you fuck up, like there's not a lot of grace in that game. It is old, so obviously. Um, oh, that's cute. You know, a couple of people said that, made that joke of like, Jay in the middle, like exactly where she should be. Uh, really, really sweet of you guys. I appreciate it. Which way do we want to go? Could it be the frozen one? What do you think this person is looking for? Do they just want fire? Potion of drying. Like, I don't know. Let's try to go that upper 
Well, let's, let's pick from the garden, too. Maybe just, like... And also, what's going on in this basement? Yeah, we need, like, more parts. Can it drive... Right? Like, what do they want here? Um... room can go like straight into poison basically that's interesting okay I'm trying to go north though right now what is this then we tried the new PepsiCo lime soda no I haven't I'm like not familiar with what, what what's this what's the scenario here I think just like to the right. To the right, to the right, to the left, to the left. Okay. Whoops. So much doesn't hurt anybody. Um, except for like a lot of people, I think, probably, right? Alright. Where do we wanna go? I wanna go up and to the left. Yeah. Not a lot of north moving stuff. I guess this one again. Gotta be careful though, because I'm getting real close to the poison. And then to the right, I guess. And then maybe up again. Oh, yeah. You know. I think we made it so that we can see more of the fog now, but. You're not drinking coffee on Monday after Tuesday, you're not drinking it. Had 11 hours of anxiety. Oh no! What made you uh, want to try it after such a long hiatus? Just curiosity and the mood for it again, like... Oh no, how do we get over here? Oh, man. Well, that's good, that's good. Yeah, okay, now I'm kind of... Now I'm really starting to figure it out. Oops, okay, now it's gonna be this. Think that'll be enough. Can we just like power through this? <gasps> okay, okay. We did, we did, we did. We powered through. Potion of lightning. Okay, that's cool. But also, like, what now? I miss the taste. I pretty much stopped drinking anything but water because I had acid reflux and chest pains. Uh, have you tried like uh the decaf? I haven't had like a lot of decaf, so I can't really speak to like how well they hold up to the taste. But maybe that might be the route to go. I think I would miss the taste of coffee as well if I stopped drinking it. Um, I do love my coffee. So like what goes really south? This goes super south. Just cut through the poison a little bit. Try it. Let's try one of them. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to like go real fast. Oh! Oh no! It failed! I failed! Oh my gosh! Well, you know what? I have an idea though. Could I have tried that again and had like a different outcome if I just like watered it down here? I see. Cause can I? Can I like? No, hold on. If I. Maybe like more like this way. Oh yeah, there it goes, there it goes. It doesn't go as far then, but like. Okay, I'm kind of seeing, I'm kind of seeing what's up now, oops. Okay, and then I just that one there. And then what if we go to, I think down to the right. Yeah. Now I'm kind of really like getting more of the hang of some of this, but. It's still like pretty rough. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh my god. The stress. The stress. Please teleport me. Please teleport me. Please just teleport me. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, to the left is gonna be something. Hey, Fiosi. Thank you for the redemption. Giant plushie joins the party first. 
Redemption of the year. Just give me a second to go ahead and grab Bigby Rigby. It's a bit, a bit a lot with Big B Rigby. If you never met Big B Rigby, hold on, in all his glory. I think that's like showing, okay, yeah. And then more like this way. That's Big B Rigby. He's great, he's super boofy. This was a surprise that Isaiah got me from Costco and it was awesome. Okay, here we go. All right, cool. So I'm gonna try to like, oh. I normally don't play with a mouse, so it's like, let me just try to like detangle some stuff. Okay, this is in the spirit of, y'all Y'all know Rigby's here in our minds and in our hearts. Okay, let me see. Five minutes now, let's go. Okay, so we crushed this up. Oh, oh, that was close, that was a close one. I follow an account on Twitter post Squish Mouse every hour. They posted this one and I was shocked when I found out its name wasn't really Rigby. I know, I forgot what its real name is. I name all of mine myself. Though that one the community named on Discord. Um But I like generally will come up with different names for them. Um I just think it's a little more fun. I pretty much have always been doing that since I was a kid. Potion of Stone Skin. This is useful. And we got another talent point. Oh, but now some stuff costs two talent points. More bonuses, better trading. I guess let's maybe go with the more bonuses, right? Also, what should we give this woman? And then let's focus on the five, the haggling after that. um. Should we just give her the fire? I forgot about the lady, right? Uh, me too, I love that you can just like let them wait there. I guess let's just give her the potion of fire. Maybe that's all she really needed, I don't know. And does anything get to the left faster than the, po than the, than just like the fire things? Not really. Yeah, let's just. Zoop, 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 zoop. It's one. Okay, hold on. It's two. I have to grind it up as much. That's three. See, what's cool now is like you see more of the map fog up here, like opens up. Yeah, I just forgot. Let's see what she. She doesn't. I'm not gonna make her haggle for it because, like, I'm lucky she's even. Taking it. Can I sell them anything? Do they get mad if it's like the wrong thing? Hello, any desire for some mushrooms? Winking. I'm gonna wink back. Winking another eye. So are you gonna buy some mushrooms? I mean, maybe. Why does it say up from $600? Oh, I only have, um, I only have like a little bit of money. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything right now. Hey, uh, Piccolo, what's good? What's good? Happy belated birthday, Janet. Welcome back. Thank you for the warm welcome and the birthday wishes. We're here hanging out with Big B Rigby. Look at that RGB belly. Um, okay, so let's do... I've been feeling nauseous all day. Do you have anything for that? I guess just the healing potion. There's gotta be something better for nausea, though, than the healing potion. But for now, like, it's just gonna be the healing potion. Look, lady. We're just gonna put the healing potion on everything and just say that that's... That that's everything. Everything's the healing potion. Oh! It, the healing potion heals everything. I'm just gonna sell it regular because I'm like, mm, it's fine, I'll do what you need. Um, I need rat poison. Um, 
this one, like, let's try to haggle a little bit. Let's try this one. Boom, 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 boom. Oof. Yeah, great, great. Okay, cough. I haven't been feeling too well lately. I can't stop coughing and my head hurts. Can you help me get better? I mean, sounds like you want another healing potion. <laughs> Again, everything's just a healing potion. It's all the healing potion. Is that a blanket or a plush or a pillow? This is a plushie, a giant plushie. Uh, his name's Rigby. That's Rigby's given name. The Squishmallow Company named him something different. Oops. It's like a little... I'm a little bit sloppier with this because I'm holding Bigby Rigby here. But yeah, um, this is the giant Squishmallow joins the party. I also have Plushy joins the party. or giant. This is giant Plushy joins the party. The redemption for this. Um, I also have... Plushy joins the party, and that's just like any other plushie that I have. Usually I just use the Squishmallows. I have a couple non-Squishmallow ones, but like, you know. Could have potion with two different- Oh, there's also- so there's like, challenges here. I think that's the day right now. Okay, that's- That's been our Bigby Rigby session. Um, so I have like these little challenges, okay. Create a potion with two different effects. I guess that's like if I crush one effect or something. I'm not sure. Brew a potion from the recipe book. Have I not already done that? Or is it like, can I just click on the recipe book and hit like, brew? oh. Oh my God. I did not even know you could do continue brewing from here. <gasps> what the frick? That's gonna change everything. Hold on. Let's just go to bed for a new day. Everything's gonna be different tomorrow. Like, that's crazy. I, I thought the book was just like a reference point. I didn't realize you could do stuff from the book. Okay. Let's start by going to the garden, of course. Gathering some materials for our big day. And then, yeah, so let's, let's, there's so much to do here now. So let's go to, I think like the, the icy one would be good. If we can do continue brewing from here. And now we can do like more to the right. So then like, I don't know if that automatically put in the ingredients. It probably did. Just to see like what else is out here. Okay, so now we have one that's like to the right and then up. So we're right and then down. Let's go up for now. Dexterity in front. Oh, we finally did the, um... Oh, but there's only two... Ah! There's only two recipes left. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. This is from the recipe book. Let's do just like brew this recipe. A couple of these just to have them. And then. See, that's such a good emo for this game. Greetings, I'm wandering, I'm wandering merchant. I'm passing your shop. I think you might like some goods. Shall we trade? We could trade. What does the trade look like? I feel like I put up something from you, from me. I mean. What do I want? I want like. be good. I only have $200, so let me just haggle a bit. Um, 
Click, 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 click. Okay, 13, that's not bad. Okay, um. Okay, uh, we swiped an iron chest, but can't open it. Do you have any potions that will help? I guess like the magic one, right? I don't know if that'll help. <gasps> it's not right. Oh my God, that's what happens when they say they don't need, oh my God. Okay, now we know, now we know. Oh, probably like an explosive, an explosive thing, or like iron. Could something like melt iron? Or isn't there like this thing? Weak potion of stone skin. What does this do? <gasps> Oops, sorry, sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. My bad. Never mind. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Um, wild growth. Maybe like maybe like the explosion thing is gonna be where it's at. Um. I guess let's start from that, like, dexterity one. If possible. Oh, you can't- I can't continue from here. Mm. Iron. I mean, could you just light it on fire? No, it's gonna burn the contents in it, too. Lightning? I'll be honest, girl, I don't know what you need. Maybe strength? Damn, nah, she didn't want that either. Damn, okay. Give me a healing potion. A bandage shot me. Just take it, because it was bad. Is this fucking Geralt? Um, okay. Help me replenish my supply of potions. I had some with me. The hunt turned out wild, and I had to drink every last one. I need a potion that will accelerate heat wound healing? I mean, just this one, right? Yeah. Oh, are you a hunter? Right. But I do hunt... But I don't hunt animals. I only hunt creatures like trolls, ogres, and ghouls. Sometimes harpies. In general, I deal with all kinds of fantastic game, but the pay is decent. Okay. Um, let's just give it a try. Yeah, let's give it a try. Boom, 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 boom. Oops, we missed like a lot. Another, 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 another. Oh my god, this is tough. This is like really hard. No. Okay, so he got it actually hurt me to do that, but oh well. I need herbs. Um, oh, hi, I need any herbs. I was like, what? Uh, let's just see what she has. I wouldn't mind some tangleweed. Let's just get a thing of tangleweed. Let's tangle. I got all in my head after that thing with the hunter. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Not bad, not bad, not bad. A little bit of a deal. A little bit of a deal. Okay, let's see. I'm going into the woods to track game. I could use a potion to help me hunt better. Okay, um, maybe like dexterity? Probably dexterity. I think dexterity. So dexterity is going to be over here. We don't need the dexterity and frost though. Probably just dexterity would be good. One of my goes to like the right, but like swirls funny. Let's just try this. Then we'll like probably like oops. And, like bring it back a little bit. Okay. Let's go a little bit more to the right. Do I have any of the- oh no, do I not have any, like, water cross left? Oh. Damn. It's gonna be, like, really hard now. Do I really not have any left? Oh my gosh. We messed up. Okay. How am I gonna get over there? So I really can't go to the right, then. That water cross. I 
mean, screw it. Let's just give them the dexterity one then. Because I just... It has frost too, but... Let me a strong and fast acting poison. I'd appreciate if you saved any questions and kept our deal a secret. Okay, sure. Super sketchy. Through this recipe. Here we go. I think I should at least get... You know, a little, a little extra something for my troubles, you know? I got hit by a horse. I think I broke my ribs even too. I'll pay extra for a, strongly, a truly strong potion. Now here's what I'm confused by. Like what makes it strong? Used by default for weak potions. Also, I don't even think I have enough for like, not just the weak one. Yeah, she gonna have to just take the weak one because I don't have a strong one. I'm sorry, I can't give you anything. Medicine for it? Nah, I don't got anything for you. I'm sorry, I gotta go to sleep. I gotta go to sleep because it's getting too stressful. I ran out of a lot of ingredients that I needed. Sorry y'all, I'll come back tomorrow. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, now life's life's gonna be good again. Okay. So I'd love to like check out a couple different spots here. Probably like. Why am I already here? I guess just from like before. I guess just like this way into the middle would be good. then up like up into the right is ideal but let's see this kind of gets at some of that not, not quite what just goes up this goes down this goes up okay I guess we can try to like brew at this spot I don't know what's gonna where this takes me Damn it, want me to take me there? Damn, that sucks. Okay. All your ingredients will be lost? Oh no, I don't want to do that. Making potions? I'm making potions. I'm potioning it up. Potion crap. This is gonna be a pain. Okay, we're gonna have to spin really fast to like not ruin it. Oof, okay. Okay, let's try to go up. I want to try to get in that little, like, corner area. Actually, this is... This is just about where we need to be, this thistle. I mean, it's not super replicatable. Hopefully we don't want to touch anything that's bad for us. Fuck, fuck. Oh! Oh god, oh god, oh god. I have to go, like, completely diagonal. Do I have anything that goes diagonal? I don't think I do. No! We have... This, which is a little diagonal. Not quite enough. Okay. I need to be able to, like, get into this corner. Oh, no. This is, like, bad. And then just, like, a little bit to the right. Oh, fuck! You fucking bitch. <laughs> God damn it. Can I go to sleep? Can I just, like, start a new day? No, just let me go to sleep. I don't want to do this. I don't want to go to work today. Please. Please, ow. Please, ow. Sure. Damn, this is like fancy. This is too much money for me. I'm sorry. Are you, what are you selling? My goods are not cheap. No, thanks, sir. You're just too rich for my blood. So you having fun? Yeah, I really like this game. Um, I really like sim stuff, so this is very appealing to me. 
mean, I like sim stuff that has. Um, I mean, I kind of I've liked basic sim stuff too that doesn't have additional layers. But I like that there's like an extra layer of gamification. You know, the one of the big critiques of like the sim genre, um, which mostly comes from people that don't like that genre. So it's kind of like ah. How useful is this observation? Not necessarily a lot, but at the same time, like, I get... People that don't like Sims are usually just like, oh, it's just, like, doing something that, like, I could do in real life, or it's doing, it's, like, doing chores, or it's boring. And while I think that speaks to a disconnect with the genre itself, I get what people mean when they say that, and I feel like what's cool about this is it does add, like, that extra dynamic layer to it. I don't necessarily need that out of these kind of games, but having something like that from a game like this, I think makes it a little bit special, makes it a little bit more playful. So I like this aspect of it. It is kind of tough though, to try to like find new stuff. Okay, let's see, do I have any more? So I only have one talent point. We could use it for trading. Let's save our talent points for like the haggling, like improved haggling. There was a landslide in the mountains. The question is how do we make strong Heal, a strong healing potion. Is it just like double the amount? That's one thing I'm not sure about. So this is weak healing potion. What would make it stronger? Probably just... Like more? Is that like the difference? Is it just like double the ingredients or something? Do we even have any of the water bloom left? Oh my god, we don't. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, hold on. And then let's let's just do another life leaf. That's still gonna just be weak, no? Is the difference between it like? Oh, oh! Oh, now I understand. Okay. That's why it's stronger. Because it's more like dead center. Oh, wait, what? I'll pay extra for a street. Oh, shoot. I thought she needed a healing potion. Okay. My village was blocked. I mean, strength? Damn, not strength. Lightning? Girl, I don't know what you want. I'm sorry. Hey there, I'm trying to catch a mean fit. How do I like see how popular my shop is? Cause I feel like it's the popularity is going in down and down the more that I fail. Okay. Okay, um, believe it or not, the little thing breathes fire. Could you give me a frost potion? Oh, I got you. I got you. I feel like I had a frost potion, but maybe now it's gone. Okay, I got you with the frost potion. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Boom. Look at that. Look at that potion. It is a weak potion, so don't at me about that, but... I'm just gonna sell it to you because I need, like, positive will here at this point. I could use a potion. What kind of potion do you need? There's a hidden nook in the forest. What? Oh, dexterity. Okay, I got you because I have that too. Okay, let's try to get him dexterity. Dexterity is over here. Shoot, I don't know if we can get to the right without having that like stupid watercress thing. Okay. That's the thing. That's going to be the rough part. Oh, I can't really get to the right very easily. I need more stuff that can go to the right. This can kind of go to the right, but like, not by a lot. Let's just try it. Yeah, try to help this man out, this old man. Oh, we're not gonna be able to make it. No, I can't make it there. Shoot. Can I just go to sleep? Can I just ignore him? No, okay, damn it, I failed this man. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have it. I don't have it for you. The front door is stuck. My answer is always strength, but that's not probably true. Shoot. Magic? I 
Damn. All right, girl. Damn. Uh, hey, Jen, chat. Hope y'all are having a good one. Yeah, thanks for asking. I like more gaming sims, too. I've been trying to play Dreamlight Valley. All intense, though. The game is clearly telling me to chill and hang out with Goofy. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand that. Um, I like this, too, because it offers, like, the idea of eventually attaining a really powerful system that you kind of created yourself of like, oh, it's going to be like like, an, like a really efficient kind of system for things. I need a potion to help me get up a high sheer cliff. I mean, damn it. No one wants this fucking potion of strength, man. Um, A high sheer cliff. Is there like a swiftness maybe? No. Damn. Okay. Look, I don't know if I have that potion for you, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna have to just... We're ruining this shop's reputation. Like, I just gotta go to go to bed. And the vegetables might feel like gotten smaller. Ooh, I do have something for you. I got the potion of growth. I'm just gonna sell it to you because it's been such a rough day at this shop that I don't wanna... I don't wanna deal with it anymore. We need, we need more ingredients again. Maybe I should focus more on, like, just serving my customers today, because, like I said, our, our shop reputation is, like, circling the drain, so. Oh. Is business booming? I mean, no, I don't have a shop. I have a lab. So, you and I are competitors. Quite ops, actually. I will. Ah, yeah, I do want those alchemy devices. Chanted paper. Yeah, I'll take I'll take one. Let's try haggle. Let's try haggle a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oops. Uh, cool. That was good. That was good. I need to burn someone. I mean something. Okay. Super sketch, but that's all right. That's all right. Let's brew this potion. I do wonder if all of this, like, evil is going to come back to bite me. Damn. Oof. I think it's tough. Oh man, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Look, I'm sorry. Just, just, I messed up. I messed up. Um, okay, greetings, potion brewer. I need to beat up a certain rich man, but he's massive. Finally, the potion of strength finally comes in handy. Um, what kind of potion do you need? Maybe now, okay, maybe now I can help this man with his dexterity issues because I felt so bad before. I just, oh, I forgot to grab all my stuff. I just didn't have what I needed to do it. I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to get over there. And then we're gonna have to go up. What goes up? I'm not seeing anything go up. Uh, this goes up, I guess. But like... And I guess more of this. Oh, oops. us there faster than the water cross or the water bloom I don't know why I would say water cross but not really it's gotta just be all of this water bloom okay, hopefully something that isn't that can get me there though come on come on it's like right there please Ugh, nope still need more water bloom and also this one oops overkill with some of these but at least we gained some uh 
stuff from this. There we go, there we go. Hey, what's up, God's Garage? How's it going? These folks got all interesting stories to share. Wish there yeah, that's the thing. I'm wondering if this is gonna, like, I don't necessarily need that from this, but I'm wondering if, um, it's gonna, like, have some, like, spice and drama to it. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna give this guy this. It's just, that's just for the culture, you know, one shop person to the other. I don't know. Do you have a potion that will help me battle an ice dragon? I've already time with that one. Probably the fire, right? I'm gonna say the, the fire one. I hope this is what you're looking for. Yeah, just take it. I need to like up my sails. I had a really idea yesterday to brew a beer that warms your bones over the coldest day. People would pay a pretty penny for it. The recipe is almost ready. I need something like liquid fire. Okay, let me give him the fire potion, I guess. Is that too much? No, okay. Finally, they say you know how to make potions. Yay! Okay, so what am I at? I'm at, I still only have one talent point though, so. Um, my throat's been sore for a few days. I think just the healing. Everything's a healing potion. Um, just started student teaching high school. Nice. And I'm finishing up my senior thesis tomorrow. Congratulations. Student teaching is really tough. So shout out. Um, I mean, it always very like program to program on how like grueling it ends up being. But I remember doing student teaching and being like, I'm so tired. How am I ever going to do <laughs> late teaching? Uh, and, you know, and that's still also very hard, but it definitely was easier as I went. But at the time, that's like how it felt. And I feel like that's how it feels for almost everybody. So Get the rest in where you can. Um, I was working in the fields recently and found a strange chest buried in the ground. The chest doesn't have a keyhole. How can I open it? I still feel like, is it not mana? Can I not just use freaking magic? No. Probably not mana. Just try to... Oh, damn it. They never want mana. You know what? I don't want to talk to you, if I'm being honest. Please leave my store. Right. Worst reading characters are your reading viewers' pawns voice. So I keep getting confused and thinking that <laughs> people are just asking saying so I know, I really should have did voices for these. I normally do. But for some reason, like, it didn't cross my mind today. Hi. Yo! Yeah. What's up, Tuckus Talk says, yo, gamers. Happy goddamn New Year, baby. What's up? Let's do an auto, a manual save here. Um, but yeah, y'all, that was, slash is, Potion Craft. I think it's super fun. I'm excited to play more. I will say, like, again, I'm not the biggest. I wonder how this runs on. How does this? How does? How is this on Steam Deck? I'd say. Okay, maybe I'll do it on. Maybe I'll continue with it on Steam Deck because I, I like this game a lot. I think. I think there is an end because I think it mentions like different chapters, so there probably isn't any here. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just like move it along at the shop, y'all. Um, but this is cool. Again, kind of recap slash, in case you missed it in the stream, this is a potion crafting simulator game where kind of the funky twist on it is you have a map that you're moving across. I guess I'll just show it a little bit because I'll just shut down the game after this. You have this map that you're moving across. Like as you put in different ingredients, you'll move to different spots on the map and you're trying to uncover these different types of potions. And a potion is just anything that has an effect, right? So that's kind of the shtick. As you progress, there are like some light I feel like, can you just call upgrading yourself like an RPG element? I feel like it inherently kind of is, but you have these like, not abilities, but I guess buffs in a sense, right? It's like, okay, you can like, more of the map gets cleared as you move across it. Um, and you can increase that through talent points, which you get from just doing different stuff. There's some little challenges here, like create a potion of explosion. Um, as you can see from here, I haven't gotten here yet to make whatever this potion is. And then if you hit here, the potion, like, gets ruined. You can, like, use the water to, like, back up back to towards the center. So there's, like, some fun um, additional layers of gamification to what could have just been, like, a cozy little simulator of, like, mixing things together. And you, like, grind up the ingredients yourself, which is quite fun with these little, like, I forgot the name for this, but it's, like, a little masher. Um, and, you know, spin all the stuff. So that's basically what's going on here. Um, I really enjoyed it. 
this is definitely like giving me strange horticulture vibes i don't think it's gonna nail story as interestingly as strange horticulture did but um we'll see because we're still very early um they got some cool stuff with you go to the garden on the left is the shop it's all just with one click yeah a mortar mortar and a pestle i hope i pronounced those correctly but thank you for the um the call out on what those things are called because i could not remember and yeah it seems like fairly simple to get into like the tutorial was fairly easy to grasp but there seemed to be like a lot of additional things with having like you know well this is just kind of explaining how the game works but here you have like the alchemist path and it seems like the chapters are broken down to like different challenges to do um and it goes up to 10 chapters now i don't know if that means like that's when you beat the game or how they kind of structure it but that was potion craft um i'm gonna go ahead and take my intermission of about five minutes or so of a little break you know run the restroom get any um drinks that i want to get or whatever and then we will switch over games to melatonin which is a dreamy pastel colored rhythm game um that i've been looking forward to checking out that one also came out uh toward the end of last year so hang tight uh and i will see y'all in about five minutes plus or minus um here we go
um, I just have to reset up some stuff for melatonin because it's on Switch. I mean, it's a lot of places, but I'm playing on Switch. Let me see. I think it's is it just Switch and PC. Melatonin game. Switch and PC only right now. I'm trying to see where my my pro controller, even though it's probably not really needed for a game like this, but I like the option. I like the option of the pro controller. We're of course gonna change the colors as well. Uh, remix. Oh no, game on animation. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I wish I noticed that before. My bad. I thought that it was separate. That's really unfortunate, but that is what it is. That normally doesn't happen because normally I'm just like paused on a screen or something, but let me see if I can actually change that though. Hold on. I mean, I wonder if I can just remove that as a source. Is it a source on like all my things? Let me see. It just, it's gonna be what it's gonna be, I guess. Um, sports story, is that 2022? It might be, I actually I haven't, I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's rough stuff. It's rough stuff all around. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, that was like pretty wild because I feel like everyone was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be great, obviously. So hold on, a couple things to do. So I wanna um, do full screen source on my main thing, cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, I have sports story. I was like thinking about like, what? oh, I wonder why I mentioned that. Yeah, I have sports story here. I just have not really gotten around to it because everyone's so like cold on it that I'm like, oh, maybe this isn't as important to get to as I thought it might be. So melatonin, um, I think the, I mean, it's all purples, a little bit of pink. Let's go with, I just gotta change over the colors here. I think we'll do this and the card can also be pretty dark. But then we'll do like a light for the um, sidebar maybe and like maybe like the pink for the status bar. I don't know if any of those should have lilac. Maybe I might switch one of these to the more lilac color. Ooh, yeah, I think I want a bigger maybe contrast between the card up here and the background. So we can try that lilac color underneath the side, like make the sidebar different. Yeah, I think that's, that's better. That's pretty good, I think. All right, um, I think that's it. We got the game category changed. Um, tag yourself on Bunger. Oh yeah, I redid the shelves too behind me just to like organize them a little bit cleaner, which was fun. Um, I do wanna like change my fill lights to make them like custom, like more customizable on my computer. Cause right now I was just switching out gels. One of them sort of broke, it's a whole thing, but I'm gonna look into like what's good lighting because the space is very tight um it's funny because like greg came over a few weeks ago maybe a month ago and was like oh let me see your setup and then i like it was like oh here's where i like record everything it's like oh it looks so much bigger on camera because it's really just like literally if i turn my arm can like touch the shelf behind me like it's not that far from my chair um but also like he was in here he's like oh is this also your bedroom like yeah <laughs> it's my room it's my room and off it's it's a room and two offices which granted like I think we have definitely more space than other people have in their bedroom. And we get a lot out of the space, but we are making the space do a lot of work. Camera really adds, yeah, it adds like 10 feet. You know, the camera adds 10 pounds, it adds, adds 10 feet. Okay, already the vibes are so nice here. Should we bring in like a, not kind of, Wonder if we should bring in any of the blues. I think it mostly is a purpley game, so. Um, though as usual, let me know if the audio is too high. I think the audio might be a little too high. I just see what's up with this. Okay, cool. Okay, 
cool. I can do this from here, though. Accessibility. So they have a visual assist for timing, audio assist, wiggle room, easy scoring. I think it's all going to be fine. I'm going to turn it up a bit for myself so I can hear it. Well, I'm very interested in this game. Yeah, um, this is a... Let me grab all my info on this. Again, it is a Switch console exclusive, but it's on PC as well. And it's developed by Have a Sleep Limited. Well, Have a Sleep, Have a Sleep Games is the developer. Have a Sleep Games Limited is the publisher. And this got on my radar because it's a Pop Agenda promoted game, which I see a lot of their shit, obviously. Like, I've been following Pop Agenda for a while. And two, I also played this one. Actually, I didn't play this one at PAX West, but I did see it on the floor at PAX West. It was actually right next to Jelly Car. Um, I was just kind of already, like, down for it. Please be aware that their game contains visual effects like flashing colors. Um, maybe, like, flash warning. Um, let me know if you've seen any, like, good hacks that other streamers have done for, like, photo sensitivity. I just added flash warnings to the stream title, but I don't, I don't really know outside of that, like, what the best course of action is for it. Achievements, I know. The day of Switch at, like, we're, like, one gen- Well, I don't know if Switch would ever add, like, freaking a, a platinum type system. I wish they would. Can you imagine? People would be going, like, wild for that. If they did that in- Okay, so Melon Tone is a rhythm game that requires precise timing for a dreamy experience. Make sure your sound is on and you avoid using Bluetooth audio. Okay. I'm also turning up my headphones a lot, so like let me know if um if like the sound is bleeding from my headphones to my mic, because that could happen. Let's start by testing your inputs. Okay, follow the rhythm and hit A. Dope. If that didn't feel right, you can man it. Yeah, I think it was fine. It was a little tough. I played on stream. You don't want to. You don't want to worry about the achievements. They're pretty rough. <laughs> pretty much perfect on each level. Um. Yeah. I mean, you could always like mess with some of the settings, but that's fine. Now let's run through a quick tutorial to get a feel for the controls. Meltdown is about recognizing audio and visual cues and reacting to them to the right according to the rhythm. Okay. Page is cues. They will be hinting for you to react on the fourth beat when the circles fully overlap. Okay. Every level in the game will eventually expect you to follow the cues of the visual guide. Okay. There'll be less guidance for the next lesson, but try to react on the fourth beat like last time. Okay. Oh, weird. So you don't see this stuff as much, which is funky. Some levels will have multiple reaction types. In this next lesson, you will follow cues react with L and R on the second and fourth beat. Okay. Interesting. What? I mean, okay, let's just go for it. I do get what y'all mean by saying, oh, like it might take a little while to adjust to a thing. Oh, I gotta unplug my mouse too from earlier. There it goes. There it goes. Uh, the Nintendo Platinum would be called, like, I don't know, Mario Caps or something dumb <laughs> like that. Maybe, like, uh, not Invincibility Star, but, like, the, yeah, oh my god, literally, yeah, Superstar. It does seem like, um, I don't know if y'all remember, really quick, this from last year, but, um, last year I streamed a game called Musical Story, and that also was a rhythm game that was very, like, minimal input feel the rhythm kind of rhythm game so i feel like obviously i'm sure a lot of there have been a lot of games that have come out over the years that i'm just not aware of but i feel like for me as a player i'm not as used to that which i'm open to it because it's like oh it's like a different take on the genre the art is so good Probably the thing that really stood out to me with this game is the style. Um, I love a nice, stylized game. 
And I feel like the mechanics they're putting forth aren't like ridiculously hard to rub your head around. Okay, I think I'm gonna put down the volume a little bit for y'all. Just a little bit. I think it's a little bit loud. I'm gonna tweak it down just a bit. All right, it still looks kinda on the loud end. I'm gonna bring it down maybe a little bit more. Okay, how is this? I brought it down a bit because it seemed kind of loud. It might still be a little too loud. You're about shopping, you're about food. Ooh, I'm gonna go food. Oh, this is the map. This is such a charming map. Yeah, let's just go practice. Oh my gosh. Okay, in this dream has three patterns to react to. Make sure you're familiar with how they sound before moving on to score mode. The last one is a bit tricky. Still a little too loud, I think. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. It might be a little too quiet now. <laughs> let me let me split the difference and put it at like negative twelve. Okay, let me know how this is. Actually, I think it's still a little too loud. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let me know how this one is. Thanks for the sound feedback, y'all. Okay. Not bad. I just realized this isn't the indie game I thought it was. But it's, uh, that's funny. What indie game were you thinking of, Joe? Because now I'm curious. I like... Yeah, I like this. I will say one of the cons of it being such like a... Like, I feel like I am staring at the center. So I feel like I can't enjoy the art as much. Even though, like, it is very much a, like... Um... Price of Stater is quite jump. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Um, even though it is very much a like counting game, I just feel like I can't like be immersed in the area as much. So we'll see. But yeah, let's see how the score mode is. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm definitely gonna put on those visual things. Dude, <laughs> damn. Oh my god. Oh, what? Okay, now I kind of get it. Hard. Okay. I actually might switch to the Joy-Con, but the buttons on the Pro Controller. The buttons on the Pro Controller are nicer. Okay, I'm gonna get better at. Honestly, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. You did okay, but something was off. You know, not gonna front. A little, um, a little mean with the, um, with the, uh, editorialization here. I feel like that was unnecessary. Uh, I'll try it again. It was pretty tough. Some might say it was decent, yeah. <laughs>
Damn. I think I do want to switch to the Joy-Con, actually, if that's possible. Let's see. I don't think that's what's stopping me, though, from being better. Was better even though I scored the same. Um, I might say it was decent. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, I'd like to see if I can get above decent. I don't know if I can, which might be fine. You know what I mean? Okay, cool. Up at store, thanks for the follow. Oh, very good username. Definitely use. Oh my god, can you just talk about always uh, the Badoo hat? Boom, great. Okay, it is very much. I will say this Anna musical story. My only thing is, it's kind of like this is now a metronome, <laughs> which is if you play music, you know that the metronome's kind of a bitch. So that's my only thing. But I kind of it's like a, a love hate for me because on one hand. I feel like, oh, this can help me get more into, like, the timing of music in general. But on the other hand, you know, I've actually never played a Rhythm Heaven, so I can't speak to that. Um, I think a few other people in the chat have played Melatonin, though. So if you guys, if anyone can speak to that comparison, definitely let us know. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, that's the thing with, like, a game like this, where it's just, like, I feel like I'm just counting. But I don't know, like, that kind of helps, I feel like, with getting the feel for music um so it's like a mix for me all right i feel like that was that was uh solid if i could get like great on every level like that'd be more than enough let's see what's going on here was it two out of like how many like three let me just see something what's the scores look like oh does it just automatically put me back in because i don't want to do that no no yeah the chapter oh there's chapters too okay let's go to the map again Ooh, yeah this game is um 15 bucks 
on Steam and 15 on Switch. It came out December 15th, um, so a few weeks ago. This would be like so good for Apple Arcade. All right, let's go to this practice mode. In this stream, items will be dropped in specific patterns on the left. Memorize them and swipe your card in the same pattern. Okay. And you can have the visual cues on there. Bump, 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 okay. Cool. Yeah, 80, 80 bucks. <laughs> uh, no, 15, 15 bucks. I got confused on what we were doing. Okay. Bump, 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 bump. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, na, 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 na. Okay. Now, 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 now. Actually great, so there you go. The play forward did put the Fs in chat. Uh, I don't know why, because I did great according to the game. So there you go. That's facts. Um, low call and response. I switch over to it takes two. <laughs> I'll take two. Um, yeah, yeah, it is a low call and response moment. That one was easier than the pizza to me. Okay, the slow part gets me every time. Honestly, okay. So my thoughts on this so far. It's all right. Like, I don't think I'm going to be talking about this all throughout the year kind of thing, you know? Um, but it's a solid, like, fun little rhythm game, much like a musical story was, where it's like, all right, there's an appeal point here. It's just not something that I'm, like, obsessed with kind of thing. And that's what that's my feelings on this so far. I like Potion Cuffed more, but this is a little bit also, like, more straightforward. And I think a little bit more... There's more mass appeal, I think, in Melatonin. Um, then Potion Craft, but, like, I think Potion Craft is the better game and the more interesting game. But, yeah, this is cool. I'm enjoying this. I probably will end up beating it. Oops, I didn't want to restart it, actually. Let me go to the map. As long as I get great, I think I'm going to keep going. But let me see the... What is the how long it beat here? Oh! Okay, no, no, I thought it was, like, tw so at first I read 20 to 50 minutes and I was confused. Um, oh, hold on, wait. How long is the game, Melatonin? Oh, two hours. Okay. Oh, so if we play our cards right, we could actually maybe like finish this. Okay, let's try. Let's get serious. The big twist. Okay. In this dream, shoot incoming enemies. One beat after they appear. After they appear. Okay. Enemies on the bottom row will be harder to hit since they appear on off beats. 
There's so much A. I kind of see it now. Damn, I know I'm always late, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Also, I'm going to set a timer for this Badoo pad. Oh, wait, no, I know. It's been seven minutes. Okay, so. I kind of have an idea. Never mind. I'm not doing well with this. God! <laughs> this one I'm having a hard time sensing out. Hmm. Okay, pretty rough. But, um... Let's just try to do it anyway. I'm like a little confused on it. That's so like Okay. All right, better. Not doing horribly, but not doing great. Okay. Okay. Cam binge recently. Much love for the PSI Love You game of the year and Cam GD content. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank you for checking those out. Um, what's up, Dusty Gray Pox? How's it going, by the way? Don't, don't. I don't even want to know what this hard mode stuff is. Let's not, let's not worry about that kind of stuff, all right? We're here to, we're here for a good time, not a challenging time, you know? This is more than enough challenge, just the base game. <laughs> Ooh, cute. Apparently there's an editor in this too? We might have to look into what that is. This is so cute. I love just the art of this is so good. And this should maybe jump from platform to platform. After landing, jump when the platform is about to launch you upwards. Sorry. Excuse me? Don't just jump as soon as you touch the platform. Okay. The faux vibration was back as a cue for the most tricky parts. actually really cute. Fair enough, fair enough.
Peace. Why are some of them like so fast? Okay, let's just try this. Loving the nuts of PSVR 2 here. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Don't. 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 Oh shit. Jesus. Oh, no. Follow. <laughs> oh, God. No. Like it gets so okay. That was so. That one was so hard because, like, also it would go like brr, 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 like at one point you'd have to go really fast, and I wasn't really sure what was like invoking that. Um, that one we will do. Mm, let's just try at least one more time and see if we can do a little better. And after that, I think I'll move on. Thanks for the sub, I appreciate it. This one's this one were oh this that one was hard. That one was hard. We'll come back to that maybe later. Or never. I don't know. Oh. oh no. This is like okay, this is one of my least favorite things in games when it's like, oh, you actually need something to unlock this, but they don't tell you until, like, later, and now I'm like, oh, well, I guess I will go back and try to get this one then. Like, I guess, like... I hate when there's progression locks like that, like, just... I've never wished a game had progression locks on it.
down, 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 So it springs you. I'm like never ready for it. I never know what it is. Okay. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. What the fuck is happening here? What the hell is happening? Why does he go so fast all of a sudden? I don't know what's going on. Okay. No, that's like gonna be way too hard. That's gonna that that one just does not jive with me. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about it, but it does not work. All right, let's go back. Let's exit. Let me, can I just get more points on a different one? Maybe? The shopping one I feel like went pretty good. What's up with this hard one? Can I just get a point for doing the hard one? I don't know. Bam, 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 bam. Shoot. Oh, what? Wait, what is this last one? Let me restart it. <laughs> what? What? Okay. I, I'm confused by that last drop. Like, am I supposed to like, cl like swipe for that one? Let me see. This is the hard mode, so I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. What? Okay, now we're done. <laughs> I don't think I can do this one. <laughs> Let's go to the map. Maybe I can just score higher on this one because the slow part is what messed me up. Because I've gotten three stars on any of them, so maybe that's just the key. Right. Because I'm not going to be able to get two stars on either one. Okay. Here we go. Dun 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 new 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 bow bow new 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 dun na 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 new 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 fuck what Dun 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 Now, 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 now. Oh, that's so, I'm so like, you have to do so much more to get that third star. It might be time to just go to the settings, y'all. <laughs> it's just, it is too much. All right. We're not gonna be, we're not gonna be able to keep going here without adjusting some things. Let's turn on. Let's do wiggle room and then 
see how that goes. If that's still not enough, then we'll turn on the penalized last for late early. Why is it also like fast there? Okay, I, return I changed some of the difficulty settings because it's too hard. So I made, I turned on wheel room where I have more time to like land perfects. Please, oh my God, still not enough. Still not enough. Let me try one more time. And after that, I will have to turn on the other setting because it's too hard. <laughs> I just like, when it goes like really fast out of nowhere, like I can't keep up with this one. Jeez. Like it just like yeets you off into the next area. Okay. That's the thing that always gets me, this whole, like, little area. <laughs> like, why does it... <laughs> We can continue. I just cannot stay. Again, probably one of my biggest pet peeves is, or oh, I've worn this for like way longer than I need to, is when um, you just get used to having it on your head and then you're just like, when they have like the levels gated off like that, like just add in, just add in um, more. I don't know. I feel like there's other ways to do that that aren't just like, you didn't collect enough of the thing that I didn't tell you you needed. Um, thank you for the uh, happy birthday. I appreciate it. Okay, now here we go. Ooh. Oh, this is like everything, I guess? Oh gosh. What the heck? Is this like a fe- This is a fever dream for real. Bye. This is stressful. <laughs> this is so stressful. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, it's kind of cool.
my god. This seems like it would be totally... Uh, that was like... So... Oh, you don't have to aim yourself, by the way. Just so people know. The only thing I'm pressing in this game is A. Like the A button on Switch. Like, I'm not like aiming anything or doing anything like that. Um, honestly, the experience of that level made me want to vomit like i'm not even joking i don't get no like them just like pulling you in and out like it hurt my head <laughs> playing through that so mm, i feel like that knocked it down a little bit for me it was just a little too much i think it was like a really cool idea that maybe would be better suited for like the absolute end of the game where it's like oh we're like and again it's a dream i get like the i think it fit that i think that level was a better idea than it was something to play to me. But also, like, maybe it's just because I'm not, like, pro rhythm game player. I don't know. Maybe it's just a little bit too challenging for me. And it is cool that they have the assist there, but I also feel like the, um... It's just kind of a lot. There's a lot to take in here. I've now kind of dipped from, like, Oh, this is like a cool thing that I'm not gonna rave about. Something I'll, I'll probably still like lightly recommend. To, mm, I don't know if I'd like fully recommend this based on. The, I think three things: one, some aspects of the difficulty; two, the um, gating progression by how well you do. I think it's weird to have a game that has so many ways to make it easier and yet requires you to hit a certain threshold to continue. I feel like those two ideas are kind of at odds with each other. Like, I get incentivizing, like, a player to return and get, like, a higher score. But requiring a certain level of score, it's like, I want to be able to play this the way, like, I want to play it. And it's like, the only reason I would have to turn on assist is to get the score that you have decided that you want me to get. Um, this is, like, peaceful stomp the game. Um, I'm not familiar with what you mean by stomp. Is that, like, another game? But yeah, I also think, like, so many of, like, the aesthetics and vibe of this game is, like, Oh, it's chill, it's dreamy, but then they're like, but it's really stressful. Like, I think, I feel like the idea of this game and what it feels like to play it convey two different feelings. And I don't like the way those are at odds with each other. I think sometimes when things are at odds, they can be complimentary, but this feels more like a clash than a compliment. Um, just my perspective from that first world, but let's continue. It is a short enough game. I already have it that I could see myself beating this because it's only like two hour completion in general. But, like, there are aspects of it that reduce my enjoyment of it. Like, I feel like what's cool about so many games is we can all sort of take different things that we, like, love about it and kind of latch onto it. And I feel like part of what I like about this game, the design works against that, where it's like, okay, I like the world, I like just being in it, and I like, I would like to just play through it and decide for myself how high I want to score, how much challenge I want. Uh, stomp the show slash music group. I may be aging myself here. It's all good. It's probably also a genre thing for me. Um, Acer Aesthetics was talking about rating gameplay mechanics in a lore of it the other day. Oh, cool. Like points and grades make up for lack of game direction. Oh, yeah. I'd have to look into that. It would be a great play day game. Yeah, like it just... I don't know. Like... It's a little too intense for what it is even though what it is has decided that's going to be kind of intense. Like, I don't know. That's why I think Sayonara Wild Hearts was such like a flash in the pan, amazing moment for rhythm games because they allowed for so much in the way of challenging yourself, but they also like, the barrier to progress was nothing. Like, they let you skip things. And I'm not saying every game needs to be like that, but it just feels like this invokes so many aspects of trying to make it so that anyone can play it, but then also being like, let me make this really hard. I don't know. And maybe it's just, maybe I'm just bad at it. Also very much possibility. Rhythm games definitely are not a strength of mine, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not very hot on this one coming off of that first world, but uh, let's see it through for a little bit longer. See how far we get, see how it continues to progress or doesn't. Um, in this dream, pay attention to the patterns and repeat them back. And I can turn on the visual assist too, but at this point, I'm trying to, like, stay as close to, like, the baseline experience while also, like, allowing myself to progress through the game. I guess, mm, do I want to turn off the grace period? I think I'll just leave the, the wiggle room grace period on. It seems like it's kind of going to be tough for me to get 
a two star rank, and I'm guessing that you're gonna need a two star rank in all these levels to continue in the game. So like, let's just leave it. Um, hey, play Jason. What's up? Yeah, this is a rhythm game. Uh, we were just, of course, we we're just talking about it because we we're like playing it. This is Melatonin. It came out on. I think December like 15th or 13th and um yeah good to see you here Jason it is all about like kind of feeling out the rhythm so there's by default there aren't like visual cues and other things on there you can turn those on and I was just kind of talking about like if you just jumped in how I love the aesthetic and like some of the design of this game but the degree to which I feel like it's both difficult and also like to finish the first world you need like eight stars which is on average like a great score on all of the levels i feel like it's a little bit weird given like what it's going for you know jason chan across it yeah man i i be hanging out in uh in a uh, play jason's chat all the time too i just i'm a lurker i'm a big lurker because i'm always usually if i'm like um if i'm on my computer with twitch pulled up i am like doing other work so i'll just like be in the background um like i saw you started stray the other day jason and you know it's always fun to have you here yeah man like the game's the game like we're all like hanging out in each other's streams all the time um all right let's go understand I do like the music in this game a lot okay cool let's try score mode see how it goes again I already have the wiggle room on so that should help with some of the scoring what it was. <laughs> I was thinking that too. That's so funny. My short American not I know. So I do want to show you guys just so y'all can see it. Um, oops, it probably be more in settings than anything. So you can like turn on for accessibility. Like I have the wiggle room on there. You can also do easy scoring where like you don't get score. There's also audio assist that adds a metronome. And visual assist is probably like the most traditional aspect of it. Like if you turn on the visual assist, like the thing that you see when I practice um normal like you could have that on all the time 
Yeah, the gym has three different sound cues. You'll want to be familiar with them before playing score. Rats the cues. One B after they appear. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. What? Oh no, this is gonna be hell. <laughs> Hold on. What? The way the angle, like the way it's like perpendicular. Okay. What? This is so hard. Okay, the fax is both. We, we need to do that again. Because I don't know what's going on here. Um, at the animals to the control I used to work at, we had dogs having cats all the time. Um, I have two dogs. It's gonna have to be the right kitty. <laughs> oh man, I want a cat now. Oh yeah, from from straight. Yeah, cats are awesome. I love having a cat. Okay, so let me see what's going on with these sound cues. Let's see. Yeah, like something about it. It's like it's too stimulating. Like this game is like too stimulating of a game. And I don't know, maybe I'm just a little like more easily fatigued because it's like the first stream I've had this year, um, at least for like my own channel. But something about this game is sending me into like a spiral. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, maybe I wound up finishing it. I'm curious though, just for uh, fantasy critic vibes. Um, I wonder what this got on Metacritic. 76? Yeah, all right. What's the switch review? Is it different? It's gonna open critic. Mm, 78, that's not bad. That's not bad. Not a spiral. <laughs> uh, we. 76 put in the bin. <laughs> I'm just more like, oh, okay. Middle of the road kind of score for a game like this. Um, I might actually score it a little bit lower. I feel like it's more on the okay side than the good side to me. I think there's so many cool ideas in this game. Guys, the show. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hold on. Um, I'm still figuring out where on my setup I want to have it, but boom, there you go. I really need to work on the lighting here because it is like, it's so much darker without like more colorful fill lights. It feels like, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm wearing a black shirt or I don't know what it is, but yeah, here we go. Fantasy critic. I wish the trophy was bigger, but maybe in future years it'll be sized up or something. Um, are you a personal fantasy critic this, again this year or is anyone not about it? Um, I don't know what the de uh, how many stuff people are doing this year for it um like how expensive that is or not i want to do eventually a just game a night one like in my di my own discord but i haven't figured out like i haven't gone through the means of getting it all together um but yeah i know like other people have leagues and stuff but Um, the trophy does not have my name on it. I guess it probably, you know, well, I think it's because you have to order before, so. Some L's. Hey, Jan, happy to see you streaming, friend. Oh, yeah, sure thing, sure thing. Yeah. Um. I am doing, like, dual leagues. Like, I'm in two leagues again. I'm in, like, the kind of funny one and another one, but, um, eventually I'd want to host my own at some point. Right now, I'm more, I'm more of a player than a, um. What's the word? Commissioner, right? Um, but yeah, all right, y'all. I guess it's just score mode. Honestly, I 
I don't think I like this game. You know, it's it's rough. It's rough to know. Star Wars Discord. Yeah, you surely should play it, Jason. Like, I think anyone that like has a Discord and is willing to do it, or even if you just have like a group of friends, um, you know, like the other one that I'm in is not like a Discord specific one or anything. Um, but yeah, like they're fun to do. I I saw like uh in the mid max community. <laughs> it's funny. I was on fa- I was on Fantasy Critic. And it said that, like, um, what was it? It had said that, like, there were, like, eight min-max ones. And I'm guessing just people in our community made one. But I haven't looked at our Discord to see, like, what people are doing. Uh, is it harder to predict stuff because release dates get pushed? Are there rules about... Um, so, that you can pick up any game. You can even pick up games that haven't been announced yet. Like, last year, Blessing got The Last of Us Part 1 before it had even been announced. Like, he just put Last of Us Remake, and he got that. You can also set up rules, like, against remakes if you want, or, you know, you can have, like, by default, Fantasy Critic sets up, like, its own, like, this is how a standard leak can go, and they, like, allow, like, remakes and stuff. Um, if your game gets officially delayed, you can drop it for free, I think. Um, I think you might only have, like, two drops, three drops, depending on, like, what the leak rules are or whatever. I can't remember offhand. Um... So that's how that works. So really, like, what my strategy is, I normally, when I'm first bidding, and, like, the way it goes, I'll try to keep it brief because I know not everyone's, like, interested in this, but you set it up and, like, you do your draft and you pick, like, let's say five to seven games of, like, the maybe, like, ten or something you can have. Again, the numbers might not be perfect because I'm doing this off the top of my head. And then you all go around and it's like, okay, Isaiah drafts a game and then I draft a game and Edwin drafts a game and Maggie drafts a game. And it goes back around snake order. So then Maggie gets, she got the last pick in the first round. She would get the first pick in the second round and it goes back and forth until everyone's drafted their games. And then at the end, everyone has to counter pick, which means that like I have to look and say, okay, of Isaiah, Edwin, Maggie, who has a game that I think is going to either not come out or score the worst because like for counter picks, it works the opposite, right? Normally any, the game you pick, if it has above 70, one point for every point above 70, two points for every point above 90. For the counter pick, it works the opposite. You know, if I counter pick, you know, a memoir blue, which I did last year in the kind of funny league, that game got a 72. That was a good counter pick for me because I only lost two points, you know? And then sometimes if you're really lucky, if you counter pick, like I think Mike counter picked Saints Row, That gained him, like, five or ten points. That's kind of rare because usually, you know, it's just hard to pull that off. Hey, Mason, what's good? Uh, Keep up the great work. Appreciate your content. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Um, So that's how that works. for Generally for counter picks and for bidding, like, I try not to play the, I don't think this will come out too much. Like, some people will be like, oh, I'm going to counter pick Tears of the Kingdom because I don't think it's going to come out. I'm like, I don't think that's a good idea because if that game comes out, you're fucked. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. But some people really like doing that, and that's their strategy. Uh, you know, everyone kind of goes by differently. Yeah, the counter picks I think make it so fun because it's like that's such a tough thing. Because nine times out of ten, everyone drafted what they you know think are going to be good games. So it's like, what's the worst good game here? And that's what gets tricky about it. Um, let's go into score mode for this, even though see, like, and maybe I had too much coffee. You know what? I don't know, but I feel like this game makes me like very slightly nauseous. Like it's just a little too stimulating. Okay, we're doing pretty good now. Okay, now that I'm, like, feeling this one, I'm kind of into it. You know what's nice about this one, I just realized, is it kind of has baked-in visual cues. I mean, all of them kind of do, but these ones feel a little more intuitive to me. Oh God. (laughs) 
Imagine VR. Oh my gosh. It'd be kind of cool in VR. Uh, you'd be like, man, skip it. Um, oh, the counterpick system? Oh, yeah. I guess you can pick that. Um, wait, or are you talking about like Tears of the Kingdom? Because I don't remember if you can skip the counterpick system in Fantasy Critic. I'm honestly dreading playing Tears of the Kingdom on the current gen. You're going to. Uh, so, Joe, you're not going to play Tears of the Kingdom. Did you play Breath of the Wild? Um, here's the thing, though. Like, again, Breath of the Wild didn't run smooth, smooth either. Like, that thing, I remember being there at launch and it being a little framey, a little rough around the edges. The fact is, like, I've never played Nintendo hardware and been wowed by the performance and fidelity. That's fucking facts. Like, it sucks. It su sucks that it's true, but, like, one of the most exciting things when it comes to innovation for Nintendo, it's funky use of whatever their stick is, whether that's the 3D on the 3DS or just, like, the form factor of it. Um, the Switch is big thing. It was, oh, my God, it's instantaneous docked, undocked handheld mode. But it wasn't like the games look amazing. I mean, again, I think the performance has become far more of a pain point as time has gone on with the Switch, and that gap continues to get bigger. And that's the, one of the big problems with Nintendo, you know? It's like, they've never really had that fidelity performance, and now the games are getting so, so beautiful on so many other platforms. Like, that gap, like, you're really starting to feel it. Like, it's sad to say, but with few exceptions, you know, there are some games that look beautiful on Switch. Playing on Switch often, I'll go to like my PlayStation or my Xbox and be like, oh my God, I forgot how good games can look. And that's like genuinely like the experience of gaming on the Switch. Like it always kind of has been. And that's only feeling more and more prevalent as time goes on, unfortunately. Uh, Cause I know I love the game, but it's going to look and feel stale, <laughs> like stale Cheetos. Um, yeah, I played enough for the while. Oh, wow. So you can have these like visual cues on all the time. Which maybe I should turn them on. Maybe I should stop being stubborn about it. on the visual cues. I think it's just a little bit easier. Does it always make you... It does always make you play the song twice in a row because you have to do the practice mode to unlock the score mode. Oh, oh actually though, you can, you can skip the practice mode. Like they give you an option to skip it. I just end up doing it because it's just... I feel like it's a little easier to do it. Uh, yeah, let's turn on the visual assist. Why not? Why not? It's time. And then maybe we'll start skipping the practice after this. So the actual level is a little different than the practice. So it doesn't end up feeling like you're playing the song twice. Usually there's a little bit more layers with the practice one.
Unsurprisingly, I did better with the assists a lot. Um, yes, I love catching one in me too. Yeah, I forget they've done that. Uh, Nintendo would be in such trouble if they delayed Two's Kingdom, I think. Uh, maybe the Wii was still selling when the Wii U came out, right? Maybe they don't want to make them. Oh, you mean just like for their next thing? Well, the, the Wii U was a lot of mistakes. Um, the name, I think, was the number one mistake of the Wii U. And the second shortcoming of it was... Um, it's like kind of weird promise of the like, oh, it's... and Oh my God, like three things. I think the name, what it was, which inherently isn't that appealing. It's like, oh, you can play on the gamepad while someone uses the TV, but you still have to be plugged into the console. It's like, again, Switch... The Wii U walks so the Switch could run. And three... Um, its insistence on having so much of its hardware use um, last gen's peripherals, like the fact that you needed Wiimotes for some Wii U games, was like wild um, to me. And I skipped the Wii because I wasn't into like the motion control thing and was like, nah, I'm, I'm good. So then I literally had to go out and buy Wiimotes to play some of these Wii U games because they required the Wiimotes, which is just. I don't understand. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah, now that we have a Sasan, like, life is good. Have you played Zack and Wiki? I have not. How many do I need here? Probably just eight, right? That's not too bad. I'm still a little annoyed by it, but I, I get it. Okay, I think I can skip practice. So you can hold hit Y to skip. It's a little silly that they make you, like, click the practice, though. Cute. The visual assists are definitely the way to go. Much more enjoyable. It was such a novel game. Really used all the tricks of the motion control as well. This game is like... Yeah, oh my god. Millenn Aesthetic millennial dystopia is absolutely what this game is. Trying to be. Absolutely. And I'm not mad at it. I appreciate it. I relate to it. But... You know what's rough? And I'm sure this is their logic too behind their design choices. I feel like without having to like guess the rhythm, it like lost some of its spice though. It's, now, it's easier to play now. But it's like less, it's more boring, I think. Um, so yeah, I mean, I feel like they were just at a tough spot like for this thing with what they had. Oh my God, and then it's always like this greatest hits thing. The whiplash of this is too much for me. They take you through like all the levels you just did. Oh my god, no, no, no. It's so overstimulating. For a few levels, I think it's easier to look at the level than the visual cues.
so much. It was so much. Okay, let's go. Let's do something. Ooh! You see, there's five chapters? Man. You know, the chapters of the world? I don't think I'm going to end up finishing this game. It's a little too much. It's a little too much. Hey, NPC Christian, thank you so much for the raid of the party at two. Welcome into Raiders. My name is Jan Garcia, aka Game Monasis, a variety streamer here on Twitch. Today I am playing. Um, it's Friday, so it's best of 2023 watch where we play the latest games in search of the greatest games. And today I am playing Um Potion Craft and Melatonin. Right now I'm on Melatonin. And Potion Craft, that was fire, fire potion simulator. Really enjoyed it. Melatonin, frankly, feels like a game caught between worlds of intrigue and simplicity and ease of use. I think the world and so many aspects of the design are so inviting and chill, and yet what you're asked to do is like very not that. And then like I, I turned on a lot of the assists already. I turned on a lot of the assists already, and I feel like turning on the assists, okay, it's easier to do, and now I can do it. Um, yeah, I gotta go full robot for it. But now it's like, it's kind of boring now. And I know like, that must be so frustrating, like design-wise, to, like, I feel like they are caught between two places, and they did not pick either, and the result is, it feels like whiplashy. And, and literally, I don't know if it's because they keep throwing you to different, like, worlds, like the final kind of, it's not final boss, but sort of like the final level in each world is a level comprised of all the levels that came before it. And the result is, quite frankly, nauseating. I feel nauseous playing <laughs> the final levels in this game. Um... No. Like I can't I can't go as hard for it because I like I just got off that other level and I'm like, it's too much. Um which is such a bummer because this is such like a cute me game, but it, yeah, quite frankly, right? Like it, it, it's not hitting. It does not hit, which I'm surprised by that. I thought this was going to be a surefire thing. I feel national play a hundred percent. Oh my God. Do you impression? Sorry. I'm like genuinely like, and again, maybe I had too much coffee today. Maybe I'm a little tired. Maybe I'm a little rusty from, you know, having been off the stream for a bit, but it's a lot. Okay, let's see. Yoshi, three minutes. All right. This will be fun because we can try to do it to the, to the rhythm of the game. Yoshi! The Yoshi's a little rusty too. <clears throat> Yoshi! What? Okay. What? Yoshi! Yoshi! I should have gone to the practice. Let me do the practice. Yoshi! But out. What? 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 Yoshi! What? 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 Yoshi! Hey! Hold! Oh. Yoshi! Yoshi! I'm so confused. Yoshi! 
What? Yoshi? What up? What up? What up? What up? I kind of get it now, Yoshi. What up? What up? Meow. What up? Yoshi. So they kind of like, uh, okay, the Yoshi thing's done now. They kind of compliment each other a bit. It's like, don't, so I kind of get it. But it's like, it's a little tough. Oops. I, mess, I messed that up. Don't, 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 don't. I did so badly in this level. Is level over? Oh my gosh, because like I scored nothing here. Thank God. Woo! I mean, it's very specific. Oh yeah, the Pokemon patch? Yes. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Google just sent the news about speaking of Pokemon. Better, better swing, better, yeah, it's definitely giving that. Um, ooh. Hey, Jazzy. Ooh, um, I don't know. I haven't checked yet if I got a package. Um, I haven't gotten up in like the last couple hours. Uh, I'll have to check. I'll let you know. I'll DM you back if I haven't gotten it. Um, occasionally those things are off by like a day. So I would worry if I didn't get it by tomorrow. But I'll see. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh my gosh. All right. I think I'll just finish this. Actually, do I even want to finish this world? I don't know. I might just skip to a trophy hunt part because it's like, I don't think I like this game and it's not getting any different. And it is like weirdly nauseating. Again, maybe I'm just like feeling off or something. But I don't think so because I felt fine playing Motion Craft. <laughs> I think just something about it is a little, it's a little, it's a little much, you know? Um... You know what? Let's just put it to a poll and we'll let y'all decide because I don't really, I could do either. Um, let's see. We'll put next 30 minutes. But more melatonin, because I can, I can do either of these. We can do more melatonin or do some trophy hunt planning.
And again, to be clear, since we hit our sub goal, I'm going to do a trophy hunt of getting at minimum one trophy from a game TBD. So I'll be doing some trophy hunt planning regardless, just to like pick out, like I figured it'd be between like Astro's Playroom and maybe like a couple other games that I'm down to kind of work on the trophies for. Um, so let me know what you want to see, because I'm down to like, I don't really want to shortchange melatonin, but at the same time, I'm like, mm, I feel like I know I don't really like it. You know, is there really more value in seeing more? And I'm down to show off more of it if you guys are interested. But also, it's like, I don't want to be doing it if it's like, like, if y'all want to see it, I'll do it. But it's like, maybe, maybe the other thing would be more, in, more of more interest. Um, yeah, I know. I do feel like me telling you guys that this may be a little nauseous is making everyone pick the other one. If it was really that bad, I would just stop. It's not quite that bad, but I'm like, there's something about it that's a little, it's a little not right. I did Platinum Horizon already. Um, I, don't I don't think there's any trophies left in that game, but I can double check if there are. That could be fun. Um, but I, I did Platinum Horizon 1 and Horizon 2. Um, the Elden Ring Plat. I'm not going for Elden Ring trophies, though I do have it installed. Um, again, this isn't necessarily like it doesn't have to be too platinum, but it's like, okay, it's just a trophy on. I'll probably pick some games that I'm interested in getting the trophies for. Um, so we'll probably pick out like four or something, two, two to four that we can vote on for today. Um, I probably will save Ragnarok for later because it's still that game came out late enough in the year that I feel like a lot of people are still playing it. So I don't really want to like spoilers the game by like, you know. Not that playing the end parts are necessarily spoilers, but I've played enough games after being them to know, like, randomly the NPCs will be like, hmm, it was wild how the game ended, right? And I'm like, why, why did you have to say this? So we'll probably save Ragnarok for later down the line. I also might just do that on my own. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of waiting to play more Ragnarok until I think my family has beaten it, which is going to take a while because they're still in 2018. Okay, cool. The votes are very heavily leaning on the trophy hunt planning. Yeah. And I really, again, just ask because I'm like, I don't want to feel like, oh, I said I'd go later and now I'm starting the later thing earlier. Like, I'm not trying to hack it. It's just like, I, I think I think I've seen what there is to see here, which just happens sometimes. I'm a little surprised it happened this early. <laughs> First episode of this year's um, best of. And I'm like, yeah, just not feeling it. Like, I don't know. Melatonin did not hit. I'm surprised. I was really looking forward to this game, but I, I might still beat it just to like you know, why not see it through? But frankly, I don't think I'm going to because if I was, if the game was a little shorter, which I know the game is already short, I might be like, F it. Let me just beat it for like the clout. But I don't think it's worth it for the clout. There's still like another 30 minutes. It's not even that it's boring. It's just like, there's, I have a lot of problems with it is the thing with melatonin. Okay, cool. So we're going to transition into um, trophy hunting stuff. We'll probably start, now, since we have like extra time because I took the time for melatonin. Um, we can spend, like, a while kind of taking our time looking through, like, what we have, and that way, like, we have stockpiled trophies ready to go, like, games that we want to, like, see trophies for. Um, and around that 7 o'clock mark is when I'll make sure, okay, let's pick a game and, you know, do a trophy hunt. Um, only required to get one trophy, because that might, could take a while, but when I did it last time and did Astro's Playroom, I kind of just went for a couple, because it was, like, you know, it's so it's so quick to get those trophies because the game is so small, so we'll kind of play that by ear. Um, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and do a... I'm going to put up the intermission screen just because I will have to, like, pick up my console and stuff. Um, but I shouldn't be gone for too, too long. Uh, so hang tight, and I think finally there won't be background audio in here. So uh, stay tuned. In a couple minutes, I will be back with the PlayStation screen pulled up, and then maybe we'll just do the colors... PlayStation colors, I think, just to make it simple. Um, so I will be back in a moment.
Okay, I'm just temporarily on just chatting because I have to reconfigure some stuff on my, um, what is it called? My PlayStation. Also, I feel like I'm very like, it's very dark on this screen. And I think not having those fill lights is really doing a number on just the overall brightness of everything, but okay. Um, let's see, other things to do. I need to turn off like the uh, HDCP thing on my PlayStation really quick. I'm just gonna mark this part as just chatting, even though it's, it'll be something else in a bit. All right, I also need to, okay, thank God I brought my PlayStation controller. I wasn't sure if I did. Also turn off the switch. This will be a bit of a transitional period. Uh, I haven't played Scarlet yet. Really liked Arceus. Okay, give me little evidence. So far, everyone has played both. Is it Arceus better for one reason or another? Um, I definitely know some people that like Scarlet and Violet more. Kind of like a they walked so Scarlet could run type thing. Mine I did, I will admit I did turn it on myself because I was like, I want to listen to Spotify and that's why I turned it on. It's pretty much my main use case. Um, let's see. Yeah, Blessing likes Scarlet and Violet more. I think everyone kind of funny kind of likes Scarlet and Violet more except for maybe me. Well, actually definitely me because I, I know my own opinion. Uh, I don't know if anyone else though, if I'm missing anybody else. Okay, here's the question. I might need to tweak some settings too on my PlayStation actually. Uh, let me see what it would be. Hmm. I think the setting would be, I gotta update some stuff real quick. Uh, there's like, let's see, where is this at? Um, maybe like, not that. There should be like a... Here we go, here we go. Let me see. I'm trying to like adjust a couple things on my end. If I do this, does everything cut out? Oh, you know, I don't think this is capturing actually my gameplay sound here, so I think this is fine. Gotta adjust a couple things. See, does this? Try to see if I can show you guys like just generally what I have, or if that's gonna be like chaotic. Yeah, I guess not completely. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, probably folder. Don't we have folders now? Or am I making that up? We don't have folders yet, do we? Or do we have folders? Right, th right? aren't there? Well, either way, I feel like I might have, can either confirm nor deny that I may have some things on my PlayStation. Um, okay, let's see. Let me grab some PlayStation colors real quick. Yeah, it's not that big a deal, but let's see. I want that PlayStation blue really quick. Um, you know, let's do PlayStation color code. Yeah, I might just, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> there's always like the, um, no, I promise it's not anything too interesting. Uh, not that it matters either way, but.
Yeah, let's see. So let's do some color coding here. What? Let's go to React. Oh, is it because it doesn't have the... What? Yeah, there we go, there we go. Slowly making this PlayStation colors. Um, maybe just the white, and then just like a white and a black. It's kind of boring, but... Like, sidebar can just be white. Uh, card can be black. Ooh, it's like too sharp. Let's do like PlayStation Gray instead, because it's like too contrasted. see. PlayStation gray color code. I'm checking through events. Uh, I got Gran Turismo 7 and liked it. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see, is this, is this the gray? Can we do like gray for the card maybe? No, it's not gray. Where's the gray? You know what, let's just do double dark blue and be even more boring. Okay, let's do, do a dark blue for the card as well then. Okay. And then this, let's just make it a gray. We'll just eye it. And then we'll do the status bar as the white. Actually, I don't think the status bar can be white because then it won't show anything. The status bar can be black. We'll standardize this more later. Okay. Um, picked up Midnight Suns uh, on sale and really liked it. Nice. That's awesome. How far into it are you? It's a pretty meaty game, I hear. Okay. Um, let's see. I guess I'll just do the game picking then for the most part. We'll look at this like at a date that's not today, where I can actually show you guys all my uh, stuff that I have installed, at least. Um, but I think definitely think Astro's Playroom is up there. Let me just do some quick notes for stuff that I have, like, an interest in pursuing. I don't know, I don't have a pen here. Astro's Playroom. Um, let's see. Well, I guess something that I could do... Yeah, when you get a chance, please try Dave Dave the Diver. What is what is that? What is Dave the Diver? I'm not sure at this point I'm afraid to ask. Okay. I was like, what's going on here? Okay. Now I see what's up. All right, so. Let me, sorry, this is taking me a while to like adjust through. I'm gonna switch over to, I like wait for this to load now, here it goes. I guess I'll just open Astro's Playroom for now. have it on that screen and I can go back over regular thing have that be open I'm like working with so many windows here and then yeah so I think now I should be able to just go to okay cool it got like really chaotic for a few seconds. Okay. Um, I did not plan them stray, and I think I still have it installed too. Um, so if I go to, let me see something really quick. If I do, there we go. And could I then do also like, could I just, yeah, okay. Ignore the fact that it's like cut off. Let me look really quick at what I have. So we have that. Do I have Stray in here still? Yeah, I do still have Stray. I think Stray is definitely a contender. Um, let's see. 
holding on to a lot of games just for the sake of I really don't have anything like of big interest. Um okay, let's see. What do I have here that I would want to I mean I think those are two big contenders for me. So yeah, let's go let's go with either of those. Um I do have Astro already open, but don't don't feel like the decision's made for you. Okay. So let's go between those. They're both those pretty chill, pretty short games. Um All right, y'all, uh, poll is in the chat now. Let me also double check that I have everything that I need, like, downloaded already. I think I have straight downloaded already. Also, okay, there we go. I also wanted to go and do not disturb for a second. Um... Okay, right now, Astro's in the lead. Astro's pulling away. It might be Astro. I'm pretty close to on the trophies on Astro. All right, looks like Astro is gonna pull away with this one pretty handedly. I have twenty. I have twenty out of forty six. I think some of those are the speed run trophies, though. I don't think they're all like necessary for the platinum. Let me go ahead and. Um, Pin some uh, some trophies really quick for this because I think this is probably going to be the winner here that we have. Give me a second just to pin some stuff. Let me just pin some trophies. I know we just see a green screen, but let me go into the. How do I do this from here? Oh, I know how to do it. Yep, yep. Smart, smart. Okay. Um. Pin this. Let's pin this one. Let's pin this one. So I have just like all the pieces and things. Okay. Yeah, Astro's, Astro's, way. oh, Stray's got two votes now. I have, um, a model of the trophies I'm missing in Stray. Like, I could probably do those time challenges, and that'd be a big one. I would like the Platinum Stray at some point, because that's not too difficult of a Platinum. It's a pretty enjoyable game, but... Ooh, it's getting closer now. Let's see, I may have pinned too early. I have to go back in and repin. 7-3. And we're almost up. All right. Looks like uh, it's going to be a uh, welcome to the Astro Dome or something. Right? That's something. Okay. Um, okay. All right. And Astro's Playroom takes it. I figured it's a pretty fun. It's a pretty fun time. Look at how cute. So cute. Whenever they do that, I always feel like I'm playing the game for the first time in the world. He's so cute. Look at him. He's a little buddy. I love the dual sense. It's probably like it's it's pretty competitive with one of my favorite controllers like ever. I think the form factor is superb. Me too. I was uh, last stream. We actually did some trophy hunting for this because um, I um. We also unlocked our uh, sub goal for that too, so. Look at him go. Look at that little baby. Look at this little baby. Okay, honestly, I know I need all the collectibles, so I think I'll just go to Cooling Springs. I don't know if there's a way I could have looked at that before. To just see if. Also, the sound might be a little bit lower than it needs to be now. I think normally I have it at like 10. All right. Oh my god, look how beautiful this game is! Isn't it, like, ridiculous? Um... We're gonna see the day from reading the dual fence. 
Did you like melatonin? No, I did not like melatonin. I hate to I hate to report back that I did not like melatonin. I did not like melatonin. Okay, so. Oh yeah, we can just look at all of them. So cooling springs. We only missing. Okay, which one's like the easiest one to get? Let's just go start with cooling springs and go from there. So this one's good. This one's good. We're missing a lot from here. Let's try to get... I feel nauseous playing this. I did say that, and that was a true feeling. Oh, I'm already here. Look at him go. Oh, so cute! This is just such a joyous little game. Oh my god. Ugh. Look at how good this game looks! Alright. So what am I missing here? We're missing one of the artifacts and two of the puzzle pieces. Um, as usual, y'all y'all can backseat. Y'all can let me know where it's at. I guess I'll just try to do like a thorough look through. Oh no! No, he's dead. Jeez. Not much durability, Astro. Oh yeah. So we got that piece already. Hmm. Is it gonna be like in this little tiny area? And the fact that he has this little floaty. What a, what a little baby! Look at the little baby! Are all the animals robots too? In this one, not... Ah, uh, maybe! I don't know. I'm not actually sure what the... I think most of the things are robots, right? Well, in, th in this game, they're all like little bots. Like bot versions everything. I don't think I got this one before. Uh, Robot Rescue? I did not play Robot Rescue. Okay, here's another piece. Right? Because that's like a new piece that I didn't get before. Yes, three out of four. Now we're only missing one. I guess I just never went to like the edges there. So cute. There's a little stuff under here. It's ridiculous how good this game is. Let's see. I wasn't like, obviously I wasn't ridiculously thorough the first time I played it in the sense that I'm, I was missing a lot of stuff, but I was like fairly thorough. So I'm trying to think of like, what could I have missed on like a only like semi thorough playthrough? And that's why I went to like the edges in that one area because I'm like, oh, maybe I like, never went to the wings or something. Oh, it's Astro's first game. Uh, it's a. Oh, the. Oh, Robot Rescue. Do you mean uh? Oh, Rescue. Do you mean Astrobot Rescue Mission? I did play that one. Um, Rescue Mission's amazing. Like I love Rescue Mission. Best VR game probably ever. I'm waiting for them to make a full non-VR thing. I mean, I do love VR, so. I'm gonna be championing them either way, even if it ends up just being uh, something on PSVR 2, but... Oh yeah, that one. Sorry, Ronan. No, that's okay. I, honestly, I was making sure it was not the name of another game, because it totally could have been. Let me wait for this guy to... Come on. Do I have to, like, get him to plug into this or something? No, I don't think so. Let's just pull his head off. Okay, maybe something over here I could have missed? Oh, gosh. No! Okay, let's go back. Rescue Mission made me more nauseous than melatonin, but I suffered through the platinum. Yeah, I I think in, I have not had a lot of uh, game nausea in general, which has been very convenient. Hey, we got our artifact! 
Yeah, so I definitely missed on the sides. Hey, Save Data Team, thank you for the raid with the party of 28. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Jane Garcia, aka Game Monasis, variety streamer on Twitch. Uh, today is. Oh god, oh god, no! Sorry. You let down your guard for one second on this beach. Uh, this is Friday, where we do best of 2023 watch, playing the latest games in search of the greatest games. Um, and um, what else, what else? So we played Melatonin and Potion Craft. I love Potion Craft, cool crafting simulator. I did not like Melatonin. Uh, it just, just kind of felt at odds with itself. Oh, is this Concrete Genie? Oh, it's so cute. It is, right? I think it is. Um, right now we're doing our bonus trophy hunt, um, a somewhat new incentive. When we hit our sub goal, I will extend the stream and do a trophy hunt of a minimum of one trophy, maximum of like kind of whatever I'm feeling. In a game like this, I might go for multiple trophies just because it's so short. Um, and usually I'll probably like lean on games that I um, am interested in platinuming to some degree. So this is definitely one of them. Played it since like it first came out, you know, when the PS5 launched, really before the PS5 launched because I had um, a review unit, which is awesome. A little painter's hat. Thanks for the follow. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're all about here. And when I'm not doing this, I'm doing a community selected let's play. Uh, let me make sure that it counted my thing. It did. So I need one more puzzle piece here. Right now we're playing through because like a dragon, uh, which is also I'm slowly uploading slowly but surely. Is it this one? Uploading the vods on my YouTube channel for the Yakuza like a dragon playthrough. We're almost done with that game. I'm hoping to be finished with it by... I would love the end of the month. I don't know how realistic that is, because I have a lot left. And when I'm not doing that playthrough, I'm just playing whatever other game that I'm, like, working through. Yeah, those are the two guaranteed streams of the week. Ooh. Cute. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Aha! Yay! I think that was the last one we were missing, right? Yep, four out of four. So now we're just missing this one. Now what am I missing here? I'm missing the second artifact and three of the four puzzle pieces. So I'm missing quite a bit. Okay, I think I just have to go in this immediately, so. Or do I not? Hold on, shoot. Did I already mess up? Wait. Should I restart it? Like, is that swimming part part of it? Or is this already, like, what I have to do? Like, is this spa part of it? You have to go into the spring. Okay, so this is not part of it. Okay, ne never mind then. Oh, so cute. Yeah, but you're saying just to go left, okay. Ah! Good call out, good call out. Okay, so three more, or not three more, two more, sorry. And then also an artifact, so we'll just keep our eyes peeled. I think there's also a trophy here for like, knocking like one of the, um, like the little ball, like, enough times as the frog, but I forgot how many times it is, like 20 or something like that. Okay. All right. Oops, all right. There we go, there we go. 
Oh yeah, but also, um, Steve D's team, how was the, uh, show slash podcast you're all getting up to? I guess I just missed this one. Now we have one left and then one artifact left also. Ah, the same trick twice. Oops. Where is this artifact at? Oops. Oh, I just wanted to get to the edge. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Also, Joe, I think the package did arrive. I saw a package on my island, so I think that's probably... That's probably mine. I did not check to read it, but... This has to be something. I don't remember being in here ever. Oh, is that not anything? Okay, well, it was still cool. It was still cool. Yeah, I'm excited to open it. Thanks again for sending something over. Okay. Oops. Oh, an artifact I already got in there. Okay, okay, that, that makes sense. That makes more sense than there was nothing there. Which seems like it would have been an odd choice. Um, I mean, is there something on like the floor that I'm supposed to see or something? Let me see. Ooh! Oh! No, I got stuck down here. Ah! There it goes. Shoot, I already have it going left. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, really? As long as I'm, like, loading it up. Oh, damn! Damn it. Okay. No! It's been pretty for months. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious as to what this is gonna be. Oh! Damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. And then I'm gonna just go. After not being broke, my condolences about the debt, yeah. Yeah, it's all such a process, right? All right, oh, here it is, here it is. Yay! There it is. Oh! I just realized, oh my god. <laughs> I had stopped, I had paused my notifications. I'm like, oh, did, did I not get anything for this? Uh, that's so funny. Yeah, I had it on Do Not Disturb, but I did get I did just get such a big fan. That's hilarious. I was wondering, I'm like, why is this not going? I'm like, is this not one of them? Well, I still need what I need from here. That's so funny. Okay, pretend that I got a trophy there. Hmm. Yeah, I just didn't want like, oh, sinking whatever to whatever. Well, I'm gonna go for a little bit more anyway, so. Trophy hunter, yeah, pretend, insert like a couple of trophies in there. Cause I'm like, I figured I would've got one for like the artifacts and the puzzle pieces. Um, but let's use this time to also clean up. This one's totally good. Uh, GPU jungle, I think. Or also, there's a part of the... the spa that I should be able to go to. Let me check the list again real quick. Give me a second. Um, let me check the list offline. Because this thing always gives out too much information. There is one for like using the frog to like bounce some stuff, but I just don't remember where that's at. Oh, gotcha prizes. Let me look real quick. Oh, there's also this one. This is like an easy one. Let me actually unpin all my trophies real quick and then just redo them. Let me just unpin everything. Okay, hold on. I feel like there was like a lot of notifications except for where whatever. Okay, here we go. Um Okay, this I think should be good. This I think should be good. Um Can she open it on stream? 
Let's see. Got my switch light off eBay. Sound like I've been struggling. <laughs> hey man, no shame's in the uh in the switch light of it all. Um yeah, I mean I'd be down to. Like, I don't have anything against opening on stream, but um Okay, let's see. The gotcha the bot's flying with a single spin attack. Can I do that anywhere? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might do that then. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's too much pressure. That's too, maybe that's too much gift pressure. Um. Yeah, maybe I'll defer to not then. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this one's easy. This way up. Oh yeah. Remember um, my brother getting that trophy. There is one with the um, the frog thing. Very far point. When I am home. Disc swamp. Yeah, I just don't know where this one would be. I think it's like somewhere in this area. I'm confident in my give by abilities. Uh, okay, cool, cool. You know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll open it up then. Let me go back to the game real quick. Like, I just don't know where it's going to put me in these menus. I'm like, I have to like cut all my stuff out. Um, Let's get... Let's see if we can clean... Uh, I don't know if I want to clean up GPU jungle right now. Let's just do the... Try to see if we can find that frog suit thing. I think it is in this level, but also if anyone knows where it is, let me know. Feel free to let me know. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Why do I keep making the same mistake over and over again? I'm being nosy since it's been pre- Nah, it's all good. Um, it's natural to be like a little curious about it. And it can be really fun to like open stuff up like that, especially because, you know, it's not like we live in the same area where like, Joe can see my reaction in real life. Oh my god, I messed it up! So yeah, if he's cool with it, yeah, why not? Okay, okay, okay. No! Okay. This time for real, y'all. Actually, I can just wait. I don't know why I don't just stand here on this platform before. There we go. Oh, is this not where you do the frog suit thing? Wait, what level? It's called, like, up something. Maybe it's not in this area, then. Yeah, I guess not. Um, It's called... Um, are these my trophies? My pin trophies? It's called Keepy Uppies. Oh, the Hotel Hop a lot. Okay. Where is that at? Is it called Hotel Hop a lot? Um Yeah, it's like you hit the ball, you hit the ball and you keep it up. Um I don't know where that hotel is at though. Oh, oh, it's here. Oh, now I understand. Now I understand. Now I understand. Okay, I got it, I got it. Um Yeah, I just actually finished playing Melatonin. Did not like it. It did not hit for me. Um just kind of, I mean, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you go back to the VOD if you're curious for more thoughts, but it just kind of felt a bit at odds with itself. And I found aspects of it to be kind of nauseating for me. And just overall, like, it started off kind of being like, oh, this is, like, solid. And then I was kind of like, mm, I don't think I actually, like, I'm hot on this at all. Um, so it went from, like, a light recommend to, like, I don't recommend. Again, I don't really like to, like, too actively discourage people from trying out games, especially if they're interested in them. But just, like, it wasn't what I hoped it would be as someone that was excited about melatonin for a while. But, you know, that's part of the series, too. Um, it's this way. It's like trying out stuff and, uh, sometimes it does not work. Okay, let's see. So we don't have to worry about this, because we just have to do the thing. I have to say, I'm not a fan of this trophy's name. It's a little... Um, weird, I guess. It's a little, it's a little, uh, 
juvenile for some reason. Okay. Damn. Does it be the same ball? I don't know. And how long do I have to keep it up? Fuck. No, I got it still. Yes, I did it! Boom, trophy hunter! Okay, there we go. Again, my botched attempt at the trophy hunt where I turned all my notifications off. Okay, let's go to the plaza for a second. Get some of these other, like, easy ones for sure just hanging out. I think it's the plaza, right? This middle plate? Okay. I know. I guess I should go to that basement then at some point, but... Oh yeah, I think it's like... Was it get 20 bots to follow you? It's just all of these ones here. Um, Actually, I think Edwin finished his platinum on this. Now that I think about it. But I don't fully, fully remember. I think he did. I think this is like his first PS5 platinum specifically. Wait, are they following me even? Maybe not. Oh, is this not where they do that? Do they not do that here? I thought they do that here. Do they not follow you here? Is it because I have to go to the basement for something? Is it the other room? No, this is the other room. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I forgot where that is at. Is that in here? I almost warned it was in this room, but... Well, let me know. Let me know in the chat if it's here or not. I don't think it's here. Yeah, they just... Because they're doing their own thing here. Well, it's fine. There's stuff we can get in here anyway. There's at least, like, two that I know offhand. There's, like, the... Change the sign. Don't beat up the homies. I know. It's, like... There's so many cutesy games where you're just, like, hitting the crap out of... People there. Boom! This way up. Trophy Hunter! This is a fun one for Trophy Hunts, because you can get, like, all of them so easily. Oof. He's so agile. Trophy Hunter! Uh, this one's also one, I think. I don't know if I did this one already. I might have. Maybe I already did this one then, because I think this is this would be the pop. Do 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 no 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 no. Um, I think so. I think we'll see a lot of like ports of old stuff. Um, I hope we do. Yeah, rescue mission's so good. I must have already gotten this trophy because I do remember it being one. One of the ones there. Okay, so we got this one's done. Yeah. That other one should be the CPU Plaza, the 20 bots following you. The underwater levels fucked me up. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Oh, hold on. Oh yeah, I just have to do like, these two. I didn't mean to go here, but we'll just go here while we're here. And then we'll see if we can end with the 20 bots following you one. It is the eye toy. I love that thing. Uh, it's got nice arms too. Cool. Yeah, I never had the eye toy. This is so cute. He's so happy. Look how happy he is. Oh no, we're out. We'll get more. We'll get more coins. It's really coming along. 
The Persona girl is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, that, that's totally fair. Look at these little PlayStation bags. So cute. So is it that I like didn't go to the basement for this like for the bots following me? And how do I get to the basement? Because they keep telling me to go to the basement. How do I get to the basement? Are there stairs on the side here that I'm not noticing? Let's see if they would follow me. Follow me. Follow me! Yeah, there's ramps. The eye is so much better than any game it was released for. Where are these ramps at? I see this thing on the side. Is it like something like in here? Like this little... It's so dark in this corner too. Nah, this goes up. Hold on. I gotta figure this out. You were going towards them, I think. Damn. It's tough because like I, I went through so many places. Oh, I see them now. I see them now. I think I see them. Yeah, the light. Oh, maybe it's down here that they follow me. I don't know. Hey, I did the uh, 20 bots flying one, at least. Is it just that I have to go into this, like, weird... This hole? That's cool. I think I've, I thought I've been down here before. Maybe I haven't. This is just for fun. We're just sitting here for fun. I mean, a lot of this is just for fun. Okay. Oh. Kind of scary. It's a little spooky. Woof. Just for fun. <laughs> Doing the classic over jump because I'm like scared. I'm like ah. Do, do, do. Oh my god. Ah! Oh! I don't think I did this part. Oh my god, this is so cool. I don't remember doing this at least. Maybe I did do this, I don't know. Oh shit, I don't know why I walked straight into that. Okay. Oh, they give me a few lives, though. Okay, that's cool. How do I hurt him? Oh, shit! Well, I'm down to my last, uh, life here. I didn't realize it was gonna, like, reverberate. Oof! Cute. I wish I had more lives left, but I was confused on what would be happening. Ooh. Ah! No, he's little! God, yay. Yay! There he goes. There he goes again. Oh no. Ah! Classic. Whew. Is 
This is so cool. Oh my god, the disc killed them. It works for me, I guess, but... No! No, he didn't make it! Do you have to do all of it again? Because... Really? Uh, that part's kind of whack. I mean, I know they give me, like, a couple, like, lives, but still. Oh my gosh. Uh, have you played Pentiment? I have not. I beat it last night, and it was perfect. Uh, wonderful story, riveting, actually some of the most interesting something. Damn it. I would... That wasn't you, I just missed the jump. Um, no, I have not played it yet. I'm not sure if it's a me game. I've gotten very, like, mixed, um... I've heard, like, really mixed things about it, so I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to, like, do it. I know I got so close immediately. I thought she waited. Woo! I know I can, like, hit them, but, like, it's so much safer just to hover over them. Okay. Okay. And the fire, and then there's gonna be double fire. Oh, damn it! I could not get that double jump off. Oh my god, I'm on like the edge of the earth here. Oh, god. I just like, why doesn't it save afterwards? Why doesn't it save afterwards? I have to wash this thing again? Too much. Like, and it's not that hard, but it's like just hard enough. Classic platformer stuff. Okay. I mean, it's only two hits, but still. Two more hits than I was able to do. And I know they give me like the three hits total, but. Stay calm. Stay calm. Okay. Let him do the work for you. Let him do the work for you. Fuck. Okay, what else? Oh, that's adorable. Please let that be the end. I don't want to do that again. Don't make me do it again. You bitch. Ugh, of course, he has two eyes. <laughs> oh, great, great. Okay, thank God. All right, he doesn't have three eyes, so I feel like this should be the end. Oh my God. See you in hell, Devil Steed. 
Yay! But he has a tongue. That's the thing. You never think about that part. Oh my gosh. I want to capture like those last little bit. Get a screenshot later. I don't know. I just don't even remember. Did I? Maybe I didn't do that. I thought I did that. I feel like I didn't though. I think I would have remembered that. And I don't think I remember doing that. Unless, do they do two different credit rolls? It's the base ending. Now let me, should I hit the yaw? Yeah, I'm wondering about that. Um, the yellow letters. Oh, coins, coins. That's cute. Oh my god, can you- I, I'm am I ass I'm assuming that this is purely for fun. If this is for anything other than fun, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> really? Can you die from here? Why? Why would they do that? I'm scared. No, they wouldn't do that. It's all about just having fun. It's a fun, wholesome game for the family. This is where I make it all back. What a palette cleanser. I know, it's such a good game. Maybe I just, just I don't know, I don't know. Now I'm like not sure if I ever did that. I don't think I ever did that, but whatever. It was fun and that's all that matters. The point of what's the, um, well actually the fun, the Reggie speech was like the, uh, I'd love to ask him about that speech. Like, does he have any regrets about that? Was that meant to be memed? I don't know. Um, the dice was so cool. The dance was very cool. Yeah, you know, we have we have fun here. Yeah, you know, a little thing called fun. Y'all ever heard of it? <laughs> New mechanic just dropped. It's called fun. <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave like the screen up and everything, but I'll be right back. Cause I'm gonna um, grab that uh, item that uh, Joe sent Isaiah. Like the items there, and Joe said he feels confident in his gift giving abilities from open it on stream. Cause I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like you know, I don't want to be weird or anything. And he's like, no, I'm good. I'm like, all right, cool. So. I'll be All right, so like obviously not showing, and I'll switch to just chatting in a second, obviously not showing anyone's information or anything, but it's also a funny thing that I never realized, and I forgot what I wrote on the thing I sent you, Joe, but like I realized that I didn't know your last name, and I'd just be like, Joe, Joe, Joe percent. Do you want to open it? Because you seem scared. Okay. I'm like, actually it might be easier if you just open it, just because you have more angles. I just don't want to show the label like on my stream. You can just do the preliminary. Like, it's just a box. Thanks. Um, so I'm like, oh, Joe's last name. Interesting. <laughs> it's not Joe Josephson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I wrote, like, Joe Tokus actually on the thing. 
Oh yeah, I forgot if I just wrote, took his talk. Um, my clip didn't upload. Oh, that's interesting. That, that's fine. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm sure a million people screenshot that area. Um, but yeah, fun trophy hunt. Oh, perfect. It's already like, it's, it's like wrapped inside of a thing. So that's why she Cool. All right, this is exciting. I haven't like done uh, an unboxing in like forever. Um, okay. Oh, well, uh, you know, you may laugh, but I'll get, I know I saw that too. I did see that already. Spoilers for the stream. Um, let me, well, I guess, no, no, it's not gonna have my gameplay sound on just chatting. It might, let me make sure my gameplay isn't gonna sound through. On just chatting. I don't think it does. Yeah, I think it, I think it's fine. I'll shut down my console either way. Just uh, just as a double check. Okay. Cool. Here we go. So, starting off super strong. Uh, also, I like that Joe wrote. Um, to Janet from Joe, the Mad Gamer, because like I call him the Mad Gamer, especially since his uh, mental breakdown when he played Super Monkey Ball, one of the Super Monkey Balls. Um, yeah, yeah. So boom, we got this Dragon Ball Z G Fuel collab sticker, and this really cute Princess Peach one. Love stickers, big fan of stickers. We're starting off strong. Um, okay, this part's just like extra padding. The wrapping paper is very good. Um, honestly, probably the best wrapping paper I've seen. It says Son of a Nutcracker on it. And it has pictures of um, Buddy from Elf, aka, um, God, what actor is this again? It's not the one, it's the one you hate? Is it Will? Yeah, Will Ferrell. Uh, there's a fu funny thing in my household. I like Will Ferrell. Isaiah hates Will Ferrell and Maggie hates Jim Carrey. So I've started to confuse them in my mind a little bit because of this. Um, but Isaiah's okay with Jim Carrey and Maggie's okay with Will Ferrell. So they like, they both have like the same beef with a different, very similar kind of actor. But I love Elf. Elf's an awesome movie. Um, yeah, have they not done a movie together? I feel like it, yeah, the, mo the modern clowns. Yeah, like, all right. So then we got the actual package itself. Comes with a little note. May or may not read the note on stream because I don't know what we got going on here. Uh, yeah, this is funny. Hey, did you know, this is from Joe. Hey, did you know that if something is listed as pre-order December 2022, there is a very real chance that it won't ship until December 31st. Well, now you do. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your present. Thanks for all the support you've given uh, me in a short time that I have known you. You're the best. I hope you never stop tweeting <laughs> 300 times a day. Please be, oh yeah, and, and inside joke, please be careful if you find yourself in Glendale. P.S. Finish, finish Tinykin. Sad that that's still relevant, because I still haven't finished Tinykin. How would you know? I guess you just know me. Um, yeah, so no elf or Dr. Robotnik for... Yeah, either so no elf... Yeah, are you pro-elf or pro-Dr. Robotnik? You have to figure it out. Yeah, still have to finish Tinykin. Oh, there's a third sticker that I missed before I open the actual thing. And this sticker is really prime. Uh, curious if this is from the same artist as the Peach one. It is a Breath of the Wild sticker, and look, it has a little stamina thing. Which, I guess if Isaiah looks down, or looks to his right, he can see it. That's cute. Alright. Here we go, y'all. The coup de gras. What is it? Oh my god! Literally, I was gonna say... I was gonna mention that I wanted this. And I almost bought it for myself. The timing is perfect. I literally, on this stream, I, I'm so regretful now that I didn't mention it. Because, like, we were talking about, you know, obviously Astro. And I was going to say, oh, there's a little figure of Astro that I really wanted. And I almost bought this for myself. I really did. I literally went to the page to buy it when this dropped. And I just happened not to have bought it. And I was thinking about it today, like, damn, I still need that. But I'm, like, trying to be more responsible and shit, da 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 Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm so glad you had me open this on stream. This is so smart. Uh, yeah, this is an awesome gift. You're right to have confidence. Like, look at this big baby. Look at this big baby. 
I love him, and this is so great. Yeah, this is like a um, uh, what? How do you pronounce it? What? Nend Nendoroid? Nendoroid? And this is what I'll put a bunch of pictures of it online. Like this is like so perfect. Thank you so much for this gift, and it's so smart and so like very fitting. And that I really was gonna buy it myself, and then just ended up not. Yes, it's a bougie Funko Pop company. Um, but yeah, thanks. I really appreciate this. And I don't know how you like also knew that I didn't have this. Maybe you just took a gamble. Maybe you assumed I would have posted about it if I did have it because I do post about everything, which is kind of a safe assumption. But yeah, this work. I was like, I'm so sad that I didn't mention that I wanted this on stream because that would have been so much funnier. But legitimately, I thought about mentioning it and then I just didn't because I didn't feel like explaining what it was. Um, but yeah, and you can do like one of the big sticks for this. Again, it's a little hard to see like on stream, but they have like all these funky accessories. Like you see it has like the light thing that you pull out and you can have like these different, um, they're kind of like a little bit more modular than something like a Funko Pop would be. So yeah, there he is, Astro. This is gonna be awesome. Um, again, thank you so much for this. I'm, I mean, I'm, I have to eat dinner and like do some other like budgeting stuff with my family and whatever, but like I'm gonna set this up. If not tonight, then just tomorrow. These are so cool. Yeah, the alternate face plates on it. So it has like these different expressions that he can have. You can like pose them all these different ways. And this actually works out like so well for so many reasons too, because uh, for my shelf, like I have these themed areas and I don't actually have that much PlayStation specific merch. Like I have a lot of, and again, I hate how dark this area looks. I think I just, I just need that second light here, the fill lights to kind of make it less like drab, especially as like it gets to nighttime, like it's so dark in here right now. Um, let me see, I have my phone somewhere, here it is. Yeah, um, you're right to have the confidence you snapped. This is awesome. Okay, let's see. Maybe make it a little bit warmer. Yeah, that's what was missing. The, my lights were too cool, I think. Um, this brightness is kind of high for like, if I was playing a game, I probably wouldn't have this bright. Just a little too much in your face. But yeah, I noticed that like, obviously I have all my Jack and Daxter stuff, but I don't actually have a lot of PlayStation stuff. Like my only PlayStation merch outside of Jack and Daxter is the Lego tonic, which you can't see because it doesn't fit in the squares. And these books next things. Um, so yeah, this is awesome. Again, thank you so much. We'll take a million pictures of this. Um, yeah. And thank you for recommending that I open on stream because one, it was awesome. And two, it was extremely fitting for this. What a good game. What a great mascot character. I love you, Astrobot. Thank you, Joe. Um, all right, let's go ahead. It was a little bit of a long one, uh, but for good reason, we hit our sub goal today, which again, I'm so grateful for. Um, we got a couple different options here. I think, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with Kim Chica, who I did a um, stream with before, not stream with, oh my God, a panel with uh, at PAX. Again, talking about PAX a lot, PAX West. Um, and they're great. They have like all this, knowledge of indie games. So I feel like it's a very fitting kind of place to send y'all over to. So before we do that raid, I'm going to go ahead and do my thank yous over to um, my folks over on Patreon. Uh, so you, thank you to everyone, you know, watching, following, subbing, moderating, and of course my sponsors on Patreon. You too can join patreon.com slash game honestness with rewards as low as the $1 all the way up to the $25 tier like my sponsors who are none other than Biscuits with Davey, Black Clumberjack, Edwin Garcia, Ian Dobbins, Kevin Fair, Nina McKee, Mick, aka the Nanobiologist, Abramson. We got Platform Fanatic Play, Jason Railton, and Spencer Icasiano. So thank y'all so much for heading over there and supporting and getting all those extra awesome rewards. Let's go ahead and head over to do our raid over to Kim Chica's channel. Uh, I'll probably be doing more of a raid and run, but oh man, they're doing a freaking playing, was it? They're either playing or looking at Spirit Swap. Or oh, actually, I think they did work on Spirit Swap because they're part of Soft Not Week. Anyway, I'm getting I'm getting distracted by their stream. Um, we're gonna head over there in a second, and I'll be back live on Tuesday at 2 p.m. PT with more Yakuza. Stay tuned to the YouTube channel for me uploading my VODs. So let's queue up that raid. And I'll be back here on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> 